here. Are you ready for some football? Your sports leader, WHS Shelby, WLON Lincoln, and WCSL Charitable Gastonia. This is Milton Baker inviting you to listen to NASCAR Racing right here on WCSL, 1590 AM, 92.3 FM, and ktcbroadcasting.com. Saturday morning sports talk with Kevin Hastings, Hunter Yancey, Tom Sinefani, and Terry Reinhardt. And yes, this is JP back in the booth because my alarm didn't go off last week. Well, thank you for being here this morning, JP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It took us a week to find out, but yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> it went off. I just didn't get up. <laughs> I don't well, know. good I don't morning, know. everybody. Thank you for joining us here on Saturday Morning Sports Talk. Kevin, Hunter, Terry, and Tom here to talk sports because guess what? Sports are back. Good Major League Baseball last night where a team in Kansas City struck out 18 he times. He wanted to get that out so bad. <laughs> he did, and he's he, so proud of that. He, <laughs> w- he wanted to get that I out mean, so bad. His team is as bad as ours because they only beat us two to nothing, and he's proud that they struck out 18 of us. Well, one team's in first, one team's in last. Right? Yeah, that's Tom. right. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Division, uh, big division win for the. That Indians means we just won't night. go unbeaten. That's no. all that means. I, I, I distinctly remember somebody sitting in that chair talking about how the Kansas City Royals had such a great chance to make. Well, they the do. They do. Uh, well, you saw right now they're San Diego not out of the hunt. Last they're, only, they're only one game out. Now. Yeah, they're only one game. They say they're not. They're still not out of the hunt. Tom, will this be the closest? The Royals are the first place the whole season. Well, you know, when I was looking at the scores yesterday, it didn't look like anybody was hitting much except maybe Boston who scored 13 against Baltimore. That's not but, hard. Yeah. That's yeah. Baltimore. Yeah, well, Baltimore deserves Minnesota. that because they put a mask on their logo. Yeah. Minnesota. On the internet, the, the little Oriole has a mask on it, the bird. It's not avian flu, but, you know, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> the poor Oriole. I don't even know if he has a nickname. Do y'all? Anybody know the Orioles? Does he have? Oh, no. Is he a dirty bird? The Ripken should be his name, probably, shouldn't it? What do you think? Good yeah, name. He made the Orioles. Oriole. He made the Orioles. Orioles. Yep. Well, good morning, everybody. Mitchum's Kitchen Breakfast, Saturday morning sports talk. Kevin Hastings, Tom Cinefani, Hunter Yancey, and Terry Reinhart. We've got breakfast. Terry's already got his. How did you get your, you know, mm-hmm. yours? Yep. Uh, Tom? Oh, yeah. Gone. I have, I have Bacon, a egg, and cheese. Of mine. You guys blew through them. What'd you have? What was that? A pork and egg sandwich? Grilled chicken. chicken. Grilled chicken? It wasn't grilled chicken. Yeah. It was I was say it was fried. Because <laughs> it looked, yeah, I couldn't, it looked like a fried, it was chicken. good. Do not get me wrong. It was good, but it looked like, a, when I was looking at it, it looked like a fried pork chop. I was like, well, okay, we'll try it. But it was very so good. you ate a whole chicken biscuit thinking yeah. it was a pork chop biscuit. <laughs> it was. I'll tell you what, though. It was very greasy, but it was very good. Oh, though. it was. It's what, it woke me up. Well, absolutely. Terry, Terry showed me how greasy the sandwiches were, and I said, you know what, Terry? That means they're going to be good, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah, it was very good. It was very good. Yeah, well, we got some 
fun things to talk about this week. NASCAR has been back a while. We've got all kinds of races going on in and out here on WCSL. Uh, Atlanta Braves started back up this week on KTC. They lost yesterday to the New York Mets. Um, let's see. NBA starting up, was it next week, next Saturday? 30th, 30th or 31st. 31st. That's Thursday next or Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Next Friday. Friday. So the NBA will be back. Um, we've got some NFL, college, uh, all kinds of things to talk about. Um, but but we're going to start, Tommy, with what we did yesterday. Uh, live sports back on KTC Broadcasting for the first time since, uh, Basketball. The, I tell you what, the, the, the Western Finals, uh, when Shelby won up at LR, um, that, so that was our last broadcast until yesterday, and uh, we decided to go out to um, – uh, we're, we're going to play and in, 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 instead of a sponsoring hole, we decided to broadcast from a hole yesterday. And uh, Brent helped us out over there, Pasco. And uh, is the Burns Board today? Is the Burns Board Dogs tournament? We're going to tell you a little bit more about that today. Uh, but yesterday, Hunter and Tom and Jason uh, broadcast live from the uh, 18th hole. Uh, it, I went back home and watched it last night as as t- Tom, I was telling Hunter and, and Terry before. <laughs> Before they got in here, my you know you know how we had that long break or whatever. So it's you know it's ninety degrees and everything. I started tightening up then, um, and then my back is what I mean. And then about halfway through, it wasn't too bad during the the rain. I was just tight. It was but you know just you know I, long day or whatever. Um, so when we got I got home last night <laughs> and started sitting still. Oh my gosh, it tightened up so much. I had to lay there on the floor for two hours, and my kids had to lift my head up and put and put the pillow under. <laughs> Under me so I can see the Getting TV. old, Terry. That's <laughs> what happens. That's what happens. I'm talking like it was, it went, like when I was laying there on the floor on the hardwood, you could feel my, my, my each side of my mm-hmm. back muscles doing spasm, that. Spasm, spasm, spasm. And I was just sitting there, oh. and then so I got my kids to walk on it, and I said, Terry, they, there's a spot in there that must be the, the spot they were hit with their heels, and it would make me laugh. It hurt. I, it, I couldn't even make any other. Mm. E- expression other than just giggle because it just it hit it. I was just <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't hurts. see. I started laughing so it, I was tears were coming out. Every time they hit that spot, my son's about forty pounds heavier than my daughter, so she walked on it first. And when she hit it, I about lost. And he's like, "Here I come, Dad." I was like, "No, no, no, no." Yeah. I had to prepare for him. No. Uh, but but he got a little bit. He got a little loose pretty good and a good night's sleep. So uh, we're ready for some more today at two o'clock. Uh, the Burns Bulldogs fundraiser at Woodbridge. Tom will be there. Uh, Anna coming today. She is coming today. Uh, Hunter. I think Andre will be there. Um, so we're going to have a nice group out there broadcasting. Uh, Jason will be out there again. Um, I'm, he's going to be on the cart today probably. Um, so what the, the plan for today, as long as everybody shows up and, and <laughs> like I want them to, what if I, uh, Andre and Jason and everybody. Um, Jason, so we'll be live at the ninth hole. Uh, I think I'm going to have Andre doing recording shots on the 18th for Hunter. Uh, he'll post on the Facebook. I'll, I'll, we're going to have actual computer out there, so it'll be easier and quicker for him for that. And then um, Jason's going to be going around taking videos on the cart today. So um, that's the idea. So we're going to have some fun today. Tom, uh, Terry, will you share his your sheet with T- Tom over there? Not really, okay. but I will. Um, okay, he's a little sour grapes yeah. this right. morning, guys. So, <laughs> so yesterday, Tommy um, – you left before I found out the rules of the golf tournament. Which, the one today? No, the one we played yesterday. <clears throat> well, you had a throw, you had a red tee, you had a mulligan. Well, know. I mean, that's kind of the rules, but we didn't. <laughs> How about I find out the exact rules after the after the round? Well, the, we, there, there was some confusing about that, the rules. We were the only, I'll tell you one thing, we were the only ones that played the way we played. I'll tell you that from what I learned. <laughs> you yeah. know, we were, but they basically, I, I, let's put it this way. So uh, I don't know why the rest of my group didn't listen to the guy talking. I guess, you know, they were just running their mouths. But anyway, uh, I, me and Hunter was busy working, getting set up. Right, Hunter? We, we couldn't listen Jeez. to the rules. We, we uh, were rushing. Yeah. And um, I was probably, I, I was actually in the basement of the country club getting changed when, when, the, when the guy was out there talking. And uh, but anyway, we called someone. They told us the rules, but the basic mulligan things. Well, what what, what are they? And he said, you get the uh, one mulligan, you get one red tee, and you get one throw. Okay. So that's what we, how we played. So the for eighteen holes, I had one mulligan, one red tee, and one throw. Come to find out, that's for each side. 
So only for the front nine and the back nine, you can do it once. Yeah, but we only thought we could do it once, once for the eight. That's a little. That's a little generous to give that. Oh no, 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 Tom! It's going <clears> to get even worse. There's another rule we didn't know. You know, you're asking us about the 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 rolling in. Those were those weren't extra strokes. Those were continuations. I told you that. I didn't know there was such thing as a continuation. I've never heard of that in my life. You know what that means, Hunter? It just counts as the previous shot. So the guys that were driving it and throwing it from the fairway that's onto the shot. green, that's their one shot. We had no idea how that worked. No that's idea. Very how. generous. So I got beat on a par three. The guy hit it inside of me. He got a hole in one because he rolled it. He dropped <laughs> it in with his hand. So that the, shouldn't count for closest to the pin, uh, though. Well, no, he his shot beat it, but oh, okay. the shot beat it no matter what. But okay. then he just dropped it in for for a hole in one. So either way. A continuation is basically eight free shots, as far as I guess I'm, or, or scores. That's what it I'm seems concerned. like. That's what it seems like. Because, and if we'd have known the rules, you know, that'd been fine. We'll play by them. But we didn't know them. So everybody out there, Terry is driving up next to the green and underhanding the thing on the green. A team had seven Eagles on a par four. I'm sitting there looking at, like, what rules did we play by? I finally got them from, from the answer because the team posted this was the score. Terry, it's kind of like what you say in your classroom. Did you follow directions, young man? Yeah. No, we were never given the directions, yeah. teacher. Uh, it's because you were sleeping yeah. while, the, while the directions are being given. All right, given. Let's, let's back up to what happened. So <laughs> me and Hunter, again, was working and setting up the show. Uh, and right before they started, Tom, the guy announced the rules. They didn't give anybody the rules. So there you go. Now, no one ever said it. Could, as far as I've never, the only time I've ever heard played throws is that it's a shot. Like you chose to do Count, that in, instead of instead that's of that's what I thought. So so like meant. for example, captain's choice. To, like on a par five, for example, uh, that's the best way to use it is when uh, this is one this is one of the best way to use it is so if you go for two on a par five and get like in a bunker or something, sometimes you can't you know just get on, and then somebody might not be able to hit or chip that well in a, in a bunker or something. And that guy throws it on the green. That's used. That's almost all every time that I've ever played I, the continuation thing. Like. It, it's more goofy golf. It ain't golf. But we played golf. Our group played golf with our one mulligan, our one red tee. We're throwing it from the fairway thinking this is our real shot. Wait, so, so, and we all, so we all got one apiece. So we, not only did we get, get not know the exact rule, we didn't, we got, du we didn't get double of the, of the rules. <laughs> so we had no chance. But once I did the math on or started, like, if we had had this strokes and we'd throw it on this screen, we'd have been in contention. We all, we wouldn't have won, but we'd have been in contention. On that, so that was that, that was kind of weird. I'd just to make sure today we know the exact rules before we go out. So but, that's the difference between Burns and Shelby. Burns, we're going to give nice written directions that you can follow. <laughs> oh, well, and Shelby, you know, <clears throat> I was not blame, real sure what the rules are. I blame it all on Brent Pasco. It's Brent Pasco. <laughs> KTC's a well, the Brent principal Pasco. of the school was there. <laughs> David was there. I'm going to get on David's case. I'm going to say, David. She stressed to everybody over there give proper directions and everybody <laughs> knows how to follow. That's what I'm going to get on to. Well, well I, the, some of the people I talked to knew, they, I mean, of course, they knew the continuation rule and the throw rule, and I'm just like, y'all are blowing my minds right now. Just, it'd been, uh, either way, even if I would have listened to the rules, I still would have thought the throwing was, unless they said the continuation to everybody. I don't know if they did. So I don't even know what my three partners were doing, where they were, or what they were listening to. So, I'm blaming all that that on them. Me and Hunter, we we were setting up, right, Hunter? We were working. We, we were working. We, we were, were working. sweating. Mm. We were covered in sweat. I know you were. Yeah. <laughs> don't bring sweat, that, Hunter. I, I mean, I don't know about me, but <laughs> oh, before you got there, it was it was pretty bad. Um, so um, I don't remember the names of the winners, or everything, but one of the posted scores before even taking them off, Terry, with all that goofiness, was a forty-four. 28 under par or 26 under par. That's a little crazy. When they wrote that on the board, that's when I started doing the math. Like, okay, there's only so many eagles you can get out here. You know, like who's out here? Because the I'm like red tees. I mean, they they had to hit every green with a red. Because we're I'm doing my math on how many holes we played and how many red tees we had. I'm saying so. These guys had to hit four par fours from the red tees on the green and then hit the putt. But no, it wasn't like that. It was drive <laughs> it up, toss it up, and that's one. <laughs> I it's a strange one. way. It's a strange way to do it. I got, I got a question, I, and y'all probably don't know the answer to that. So, if the continuation is, if you hit it and it goes in the creek by a foot, can I reach in the creek and then throw it out as a continuation? Probably they didn't think that far ahead. Because <laughs> we had one that rolled in a creek. It was a bomb, but it was just too, you know, we had to go back 50 yards. You know, or, you know how you make these captain's choice easy? 
You just play, play straight up. Straight, I know. That's <laughs> what I was up. getting ready to say. Straight up golf. You got four cracks yeah. at every shot. Yeah. What more do you need? I know. And, then I'm not, and then I'm not crazy about this. Yeah. The guy <laughs> tees one off, and I don't need to use my ball and it end up in the woods. Let's no, just go. Good no job. Mulligans, go. No mulligans, no throws, <laughs> you know? no red tees, yeah. nothing. So, so dad said he was working too on the phone with a client and an advertiser. So he threw the other two under the bus. He said they were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, we blame so we blame Tim. It's, it's it's Tim and Rick right now. We blame Tim. Well, Tim Tim isn't playing today, so uh, he's being re- he's been replaced, and we're uh, and and Rick will play today. So it's all on Rick's, Rick. It's all Rick's fault today. Oh, good. Ain't Rick about one hundred and fifty? He's sixty four. Oh, Terry. okay. I just wonder. He's been around forever. <laughs> Jeez. I just wonder. <laughs> all I know is I wasn't. How are you, Terry? <laughs> I wasn't even. I played against him. You, Terry? Yeah, I played against him. <laughs> I, we weren't even offered tryouts, Terry. We were was not, you not? We were no, not, I was not we offered a tryout. You know, a little piece of paper. I was offered a tryout to, to come try and out. help when I was working. Hey, right. listen, there's a golf course <laughs> that you guys could play that I would take you to, and you'd be more than happy to be on my team. I, I want a team with Hunter and Tom and Brent Pasco and myself. If you say it's a putt putt course, we're going to have a problem. Nope. But I'm damn good at putt. You're gonna like. So you're you're kind of probably gonna like what I say. There's a par three course at the beach. I yeah. like par three. Hold on, fun. I'm not done. It's not. It's it's. They have dug holes beside the green. You know what disc golf is, right? Mm-hmm. They got disc golf out there too. But they invented. I don't know if they invented it. But they've got another type of golf out there. Soccer golf. Yeah, it'd be easy for me. You ready? So you tee off from the tee box, mm-hmm. and they they just put a big giant hole to the left or right of every green, and they put a flag in it, and you play with a soccer ball. So you play this course, you can play disc golf, soccer golf, or real golf on all the same holes. So I, if we had a soccer I golf will tournament, say this, would that though, not be fun? Just, I will say this. That's how you bring in a lot of money. It's different. Someone's going to go out there, you can play real golf. You disc know how, golf you, know how you bring golf. a lot of money in? You just say you can play golf. Play golf. golf. Hey, I got an, I, well, when you're when you're a par three competing against 120 courses in Myrtle Beach, that's par threes. <laughs> though, but, but you know what? Par threes are the so, ha- are so the hackers' delight. What they you don't have, have to worry about the, driving they, a ball. So they actually that. have two par threes. One's a little longer, like an executive course. They got three yeah. par fours and the rest threes. And then the other is like just extremely short. You know, you can't kick golf balls. I mean, hit hit soccer balls 200 yards at a time in here. So they're, they're all about 100 yards is the short course with, there, with there's the soccer one balls. In, there's one in Monroe, too, that I used to play. I can't remember the name of it. It was a good little par yeah. three course. And then, you know, Shelby used to have one, but they've turned, I know, at least a back nine into a Christmas. No, the whole course. thing. It's, 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 it's so just, you can't play golf there I anymore? Th- I don't think so. You That's just depressing. Now, I played so many hey, rounds out there. How about go out there and propose to them soccer golf? Y'all gonna waste the Christmas thing all year? How about we play some soccer golf during regular? Mm-hmm. No, he needs just, a hole in the ground and a and a flag. <laughs> I thought you could still play the front nine. But you, the, is the front behind or the at the road? The one at the roads. That's the back gone. nine. That's, that's the gone. back nine. So yeah, well, if they or just was did that. the back nine. Um, I used to just go play up at Little Lakewood up in Statesville. Fifteen dollars for nine holes in a golf cart. Yeah, Can't beat that's that. That's a good deal. Yeah. Terry, uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure you've played at Briar Creek. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> These boys don't want none of Briar Creek, do they? No. <laughs> it's I just need, a, to, it's go. Just a I need to go play at Glen Oaks, <coughs> but because I know one of the owners at Glen Oaks, one of the owners of the golf course, yep. but I went to church with him. But I just, I tell you I just two, don't play golf enough. I always struggle on golf courses. I can drive yep. and I That's can me. put That's, I can't do them that. little things in the middle, buddy, mess me up. Oh, the irons. Yeah. They I'll, t- kill I'll, me. I'll tell you two quick funny things about Briar <laughs> Creek, Terry. Um, we, uh, I was playing in a High school golf tournament, and I got the draw to tee off there from the first box or whatever. And, of course, I get up there, and, you know, you put your club down and you're just getting ready. I hit, knock the ball off my tee. Of course, there's one jack mm-hmm. wagon in the back with 50 people standing there. One. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I want to choke that guy, and I smoked the drive, and everybody shut up. But uh, well, <laughs> what's funny, uh, another time it it had just snowed and, ran- and frozen. Like, it was, it was a freeze. But... It warmed up like two days later, like fifty something degrees. So we went and played, and the pond was still frozen over, like you know, a couple inches thick. And this pond is in front of this green on a par four. Well, it was frozen. You know what we did? Hit the ball on the pond. Drove it, Terry, on on you know the one down the hill from the clubhouse with the mm-hmm. pond there, and, and it's right on the other side of that pond. We were bouncing it off that ice down to the green. How about that? <laughs> that was that was one of the funnest shots I've ever hit. Just 
we was like, uh, what are we going to do? Say, they, they don't tell you not like, to use it. Like, screw it, let's try it. Not to use the environment. I mean, <laughs> we bounced you, you got what you got. Ice use what you got. The green. <laughs> but, and, and all four of us hit the dang ice, believe it or not. Nobody nobody sliced it or, or hit a bad one, really. We, we, we had some pretty decent shots. So, yeah, it's a fun little thing down there. When it, a frozen golf. Frozen golf. Uh, yeah. And, and, and Dad said he had a hole in one at Briar Creek. <laughs> So I have not go. had a hole in one at Briar Creek. He's had two or three. I, I had a hole in exactly. one at the Challenger Three at a hole that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> my only hole in one in my career. Well, I had I have I've, my only one is at Rock Barn on the professional course, and they and then they took it. Now the now the people can't uh, us regular folks can't go now. Why? Well, they they quit letting non members play. Oh, they've members got, only. No, they got two courses. What they have. And so I get it, the other one was one that the pro, the senior tour played on, and now the seniors, uh, as soon as they stopped doing that, they they told everybody that you know that that the non members couldn't play anymore. And I'm like, what was the difference between having the seniors here? Were they paying for us to play extra? I mean, oh, I don't know. I didn't understand that. Seemed but, like I played that years ago. Is yeah. that Lincoln County Rock Bowl? Boy, Rock Bowl, no. Catawba County. Catawba County. Mm-hmm. I used to, I was. I worked on their event staff. That played. was one of my first jobs ever was yeah. part of Rock Barnes event staff. Oh, okay. I was there for a few months, and then they set me up to get hurt, and I said, I'm not coming back. The, fa- the fancy. <laughs> they the f- did. They really did. When I was 22, I worked at Rain Tree in South Charlotte, and they had two 18-hole courses. When I was there, a few, like, after that happened, a few weeks later, they fired a whole management team because apparently there was a lot of shadiness going on behind the scenes. So they fired a lot of people. Hmm. But, yeah, it was, I mean. That it was, they were like, if you're here long enough, free golf on Mondays. I'm like, homie, free, I'm in school. Free golf, <laughs> free in golf on Mondays. I was, in, I was in high school. I was like, what you, what you want me to do? Come here. I have yeah. free golf like, when you can't sport. play. Yeah, that's what's so funny. It's free golf, but I know you can't be here, but we'll we'll extend it to you. It's free golf. Well, t- nice. well Tom, you got some. Um, we got 27 teams today at Burns over at Woodbridge, folks. You can watch the tournament uh, on YouTube today, the WOHS YouTube channel. I guess I don't know if Shelby's still live or not, Hunter. I don't know if that ever I kicked don't know. on. It, it's Shelby's tournament was showing live that we were still live last night up to like midnight, and but nothing. It, we had nothing. It wasn't. On. It wasn't live. It's not like it was just playing. It was just showing us. So we know, we didn't know, know what was going on. But, uh, Tom, you want to look through that list? A couple mentioned a couple of people like with that actually work with the Burns program, maybe. Um, that well, makes, I gotta give a little credit to Tommy Gales. Usually he helps put this thing on. Good golfer, you know. He's a two handicap. Uh, I see a lot of familiar names on this. Uh, there's Billy Peeler, Steve Gold. Uh, Billy lives in my – he lives out River Bend. Of course, Steve's my brother-in-law, so they're going to play. Mm-hmm. Royster's going to play with that team as well. KTC's own Matthew Royster be playing in that. And then uh, Ethan Martin, uh, he's a graduate. I think he's a PA now. Uh, his, his dad and mom worked for the school for a long time. Uh, let's see if I see some others. Donnie Mayhew, B, uh, BJ Mayhew, they've been around the community a long time. Uh, let's see who else I get. Jackson Mims I saw on there. He played baseball for Shelby, though. He's mm-hmm. a good baseball player for Shelby for a long time. And uh, there's Tommy's team. And I think I saw Keith Kaiser, my buddy, who I first started teaching with 23 years ago. He's out there playing. He's enjoying his retirement, Terry. I remember when he retired. And I ever, when I see him, I say, you, you coming back? He's like, nope. <laughs> I'm done. coming back. Other guys have been around Burns a long time. There's uh, Kevin Green, who used to teach at the school, and Peanut Price has been a long, around a long time. So uh, there's a lot of folks uh, from the area that have supported uh, the team for a long time. Uh, I see that David Pless, who played in yesterday's tournament, is also playing in this tournament with David Devine and his son, uh, son Spencer Devine. And guess who else? Brad Taylor is playing, who played yesterday, who's the driver's ed instructor over at Burns. But he's a Shelby guy. You know, I I think he still bleeds black and gold because you know his daddy coached over there, uh, but a lot of familiar. I see Chris White on there. Where's Chris White? Did he's I there. Miss with, him? He's there with Keith Kaiser. Uh, yeah, he so the one thing. Okay, there, and, and, Ver, there and, and well. Vern Beenan, our uh, Verna Vernon Beaver, our offensive coordinator. Uh, he's there as well. Mm-hmm. But we got we got a lot of guys from the community. Uh, Adam McSwain saw his name. Great baseball player. Back around 2000, 2001, back in that era. Yeah. Real good baseball. Daddy's a great guy. Works for the DOT. So, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of old birds, folks. But I think the coolest thing yesterday was when three guys walked up and introduced themselves, and they were all from Shelby, class of 1978. So those guys graduated 42 years ago, and they're still hanging out and playing golf here. That? 
That's yeah, pretty cool. That I thought that cool. was pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll get out there. What time are we getting out there? Um, one o'clock. I thought what the funniest part of that I'll be group there at twelve. Time. You guys be I there at one. The tee off today is yeah. two o'clock. Uh, real quick, Hunter, on you folks, you can watch it at two o'clock. We're gonna go live. Probably won't have any guys on the green till two ten, two fifteen, because mm-hmm. we're on a par five too. Um, so um, watch it live on on um, YouTube. We're gonna be posting extra side videos on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, probably on the Twitter page, Hunter, because the Facebook. Uh, interaction on the tablets was way harder than I think Twitter would be. Twitter, you just pop it up, hit the, hit the thing. So yeah. we'll probably roll through Twitter yeah. on that. So on WHS Twitter, um, and then uh, Andre will probably post from the 18th on uh, directly to the Facebook. But the okay. Twitter will probably be uh, for me uh, in my phones and and, every, and all of that. So um, looking forward to that. Uh, go ahead, Hunter. What you oh no, I was just gonna say the fun. I thought the funniest part from that, you know, Tom enjoyed that group. They came up with three gentlemen all from the class of '78. Well, the one straggler with him was like class of 2015. Yeah, he had <laughs> was to, like that's well, a big jump. He was probably a son of yeah. One of he was probably the son, but I, I got a kick out of that. They're like now class of 1978, class of 1978, class of 1978. Yes, it's class of 2015. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what was funny about that. I went welcome back, what Lil watching some of that last night because, of course, I didn't have a clue what y'all guys were doing over there. Um, once we went down on the hill, down mm-hmm. the hole, there was no signal. No, just for, 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 for that. But Terry, I was, <laughs> you'd probably got a kick out of watching where they were saying when you were talking about those guys. But this is what some of them would say. See if Tom might Tom might remember exactly some words or something. But I heard one okay. say something to the nature of, "I'm making up the year, okay? Class of '85." We went undefeated for three years. I did this, and we did this, we did that. And I'm like, he just said, say your name. Give a shout out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were talking about their wrecks, mm-hmm. what they did, their records and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, was I, just, I laughed no. at it. I was not expecting somebody to well, say that. Well, that. that whole squad that came <laughs> through on the funny. golf cart, uh, you know, t- uh, two or three of them all said they used they played for Shelby soccer in like 2013 and 2014. Uh, you know, they, they graduated in 2012 and 2013. Well, I graduated in 2014 and played against Shelby twice in my years I was there. So I was like, I probably played against you jokers once. So if there was a soccer golf team, would you have joined? Who won those games? <laughs> no, Shelby. Oh. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. We <laughs> played it. We we played Shelby first round the year they went on uh what was Shelby's that? Shelby's been decent. Twenty eleven, twenty twelve, I think uh Hunter, Hunter just says he didn't have any help. Right, Hunter. You didn't have any help. That's what it was. I'll argue yeah. to his day I was the best player to come through that program. We got commercial stuff now? All right. But I would say uh Shelby has had that was one thing we've always we always knew when I was there yeah. at Band. He's a Shelby mm-hmm. has a, had a strong high school yeah. team because yeah. they won it I think two years while I was there. They won state. We had a great time out there yesterday though. It was all it was all fun. Uh, Caleb, uh, Tim's Tim's son came out there and did recording. Uh, he came, <laughs> you know, tell you, you know, nine holes this way, nine holes that way. We sent him to the other side after he shot on ours. He wasn't back. It was thirty minutes later. He comes riding back. And I'm like, Caleb, what are you doing? He goes. There was only four or five holes on that side. <laughs> <laughs> he took a wrong turn somewhere and got oh. lost. He ended up back where we were. <laughs> but Caleb did a great job. Uh, and, and I want to thank him, of course, uh, over the air and, and, and online here. So uh, uh, he, he did. I didn't really have to tell him much. And he did exactly everything that I needed and did a good job. Um, so one He's thing, good Tim, at following directions. Yep. Want to thank Tim yesterday. Uh, Travis mm. going to play with us today. Best thing about it, too, he didn't wreck the golf cart yeah. that they gave him. Yeah. Imagine well, that. T- well, when he took off, Tim goes, he, he said he's the safest driver. He said, watch him. He's driving like old grandma. And he was sitting there. He, he said he's not, he's not going <laughs> to. You said that. He, they, they, Tim had no concern of him wrecking that cart. <laughs> he's the way he was driving. <laughs> well, but, he came through one time, and I was, I was very nervous because – you know, we didn't have mats laying across some right. of our oh, cords, cords, our cords, and he just pulled like right across the cords and right behind where the camera was at one point. And I was like, "Oh my god, he's about to pull all <laughs> the equipment the off. Down. He's gonna pull everything <laughs> down if it catches just right on this golf cart." But luckily enough, we had no no technical problems. Mm. That after, you know, it, I felt bad. We had two teams come through, and the microphone wasn't even on. Don't, <laughs> don't tell him that. Why did you tell I, him I, that? I, I, like, um, don't tell like, him that. Like I didn't um, know. <laughs> he probably didn't know. Now he knows. Now I he's got something la- to hold I watched over it last you. night, Tommy. 
Tom. No, he didn't watch it last night. He just said he was like laying in pain and I agony. Was Tom, if I don't point, if I don't point out the flaws, how will not, you learn? He would not have even noticed. How will you learn? Oh. He would not have how even noticed. How will you learn? I remember. <laughs> I never, did, I, your fault, Tom. Did never you, did tell, never him? tell him when something goes wrong. If something goes wrong, he don't know. Just, just count it in the wind column. It's got a way to win column. Because then you don't have to say, "You idiots, don't know what you're well, doing." No, listen, Turn the Tom, microphone listen, on, Tom, you idiots. I had to, listen, I had to double check. Why am I, why am I paying you to be out there? No, you two idiots, Tom, turn the microphone on. I had to double check with him because I could hear you, but I couldn't hear them coming through that oh, microphone, and I so wanted you, to make sure you, you, that it wasn't my end or it was that microphone. Okay, so I now, ran out there on next a whim. Time, next time you throw under the bus, throw yourself under the bus. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Terry, Tom. Terry, what do snitches get, Terry? I just, I, I what do snitches get, Terry? I always say snitches. I always say them get right, some stitches. JP, yeah. you ready for a break, buddy? Yeah. Let's take a break. We'll come back. It's baseball time. We've got a talk who's, the, you know, Kansas City's in last place in their division and in their state. Welcome back, Missouri. KTCbroadcasting.com. Is the cost of ink driving your profits down? Then listen up. Discount Ink Jet and Toner is here to help. Discount Ink Jet and Toner specializes in refilling ink jet and toner cartridges. Cut your ink costs by as much as 50% or more. Discount Ink Jet and Toner, located on 410 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Tee it up in the shadows of beautiful Crowder's Mountain at Crowder's Mountain Golf Course. Play in Ride 18 Monday through Friday for $28 and $25 after 2 p.m. On weekends and holidays, play and ride for $38 and $33 after 2 p.m. Monday is Ladies' Day. Ladies play and ride for $18. And seniors play and ride Monday through Friday for $25. For your tea time, call 704-734-0383 for Crowder's Mountain Golf Course. Sizzman's Sun Paint and Body Shop in Kings Mountain has been a local family-owned business for over 21 years. Located at 2027 Shelby Road in Kings Mountain, they offer auto and truck body repair and painting, motorcycle refinishing, and dent removal. They're known for the quality of their work and their dedication to their customers. In their own words, we work for our customers, not for the insurance companies. We have your best interest in mind. Call 704-730-0050. Sism and Son Paint and Body Shop. They're there when you need them. Ladies, how much time do you spend on your appearance each day? And how much money do you spend on your beauty products? In large cities like Los Angeles, the average woman spends two to $4,000 per month just to be beautiful in their outward appearance. But why spend so much money on outward appearance when God values inward beauty? 1 Samuel 16, 7 says, God judges persons differently than humans do. Men and women look at the face, but God looks into the heart. Spend time with the Savior. Now that's a beauty tip that's priceless. This is Sherry Hefner, pastor's wife of First Baptist Cherryville, where we strive to accomplish all things through Christ. When you're ready for the road ahead, it's time to see McKinney Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC in Gastonia. Right now, get a little extra help from Chevy. Four well-qualified buyers get 0% financing for 84 months from GM on most 2019 models and the 2020 Chevy Equinox and the 2020 Silverado 1500 and the Chevy Trax. Come in for all the details. McKinney Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC on East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Your 401k is likely one of your most important assets, but it's only one part of a comprehensive retirement strategy. Edward Jones can help you understand how your retirement assets fit into your entire retirement picture so you can work toward meeting your unique retirement goals. Contact Adam Larson, your Shelby Edward Jones financial advisor at 1427 East Marion Street, Suite F. Call 704-692-0249 or contact Kevin Larson, your Cherryville Edward Jones financial advisor at 217 East Main Street. Give them a call at 704-692-2325. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. And we're back on Sunday more Sports Talk with Kevin the guys. I think they're talking about baseball now. I'm not certain. Oh, we're talking astrology, oh. zodiac signs. Gotcha, gotcha. What are you, JP? I have no idea. I really don't care. So, When's your birthday? <laughs> February. <sighs> I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna act like I know it off the top of my head, but I'm, I'm sure someone out there listening knows. <laughs> Golly! All right, baseball, Hunter. Let's go through some scores last night, would you? For in on opening night day of baseball, I, I, I want to tell the most important score. Angels lost. What a surprise! What a surprise! Hey, can, well, without without Hunter, without looking at the box score, 
Tell me Mike Trout's stat line. Mm. Oh, for four. No, probably. just no. That, that every day. What he no. does every game. Uh, probably one for four with a walk. One for three and a walk. Yeah, <laughs> one for three and a walk. <laughs> yeah, cows close. You know what? The, was that one a double? Mm. No. Was it a triple? No. Was it a home run? Maybe. No. But no. Got him a single and a yeah. walk. The great. He struck out the on goat. the ball thrown in the dirt. And he struck out. Yeah. In the dirt. Yeah. He struck out looking. Gosh, or did he no, swing? He swung. I'm, oh, I'm man. Just, the, the, How much that paying that guy? Be, 45 million a year. Uh, being in the presence of his, his greatness. And you know what they did last night? They blamed Pujols for losing. The DH. It's the DH's fault. They got Pujols at DH? <laughs> Well, they had the new rule in in that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Where in the tenth inning, you start off with a runner on second. How'd that work out? Well, I mean, it didn't help them none. Well, the other team got four. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to say how yeah. that help them. Yeah, it didn't help. Uh, so, <clears throat> so is that a permanent rule or just for this season? Just for this. I, season I hope it's just for this. Season. I think it's stupid. For, Isn't that for an international baseball? rule or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, so you the international tiebreaker yeah. rule is man on second, one out. Yeah. Okay. Well, there ain't no outs in this. It's a man on second. But like that's I the said, dumbest thing I've ever heard. My Why thing, would you not have the out? I'm highly concerned with the stats on this. Well, my whole deal is I want to hit. Are you well? Are you getting our well? It's the last guy, Terry. You don't put the guy in the in the back. I don't it's the last care. Guy that got I still want to hit. You does get, the guy you get, get the hit? If, <laughs> if he gets if he gets if he gets knocked in, does it count as a run? Right. Yes. And does it count as an RBI? Well, the thing is, it's like if you go into an That's overtime game in the NFL, those stats count, right? I mean, if you complete ten more passes in overtime, that that counts for your stats. Playoff games, yeah. don't. Yeah, it? but those guys earned that spot. You know what I mean? It's not an earned. It, no. it, if you're that's a pitch, like a free double. Well, let me ask you this: you. If you're a pitcher, yeah. is that an earned run? Because you didn't give yeah. up that base runner. Like I'd I have so no, many I'd questions. I'd say no. About it's this. not an earned run. I'd yeah. say no. It's not. So scores for July 24th: The Mets defeated the Braves one to nothing. That's very sad for me. The Cincinnati Reds put a whopping seven. Yep. On the Detroit Tigers, Detroit only scored once. Detroit's been bad. The Pittsburgh for a Blue Jays. Defeated the Tampa Bay Rays. They're the Buffalo. Six they're the four. Buffalo Blue Jays. They're not playing. They're in not playing in Pittsburgh. They're playing in Buffalo. Okay. You know what they said? Well, the climate is similar. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh so God. they did decide on Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. yeah. I thought that. Why wouldn't they go there to begin with? But. I was gonna say. I thought if they were really gonna I share think, a stadium with I Pittsburgh, think, you better hope you ain't got two home ge- games. Geographically, I would say that Detroit would make more sense. But I'm not sure why. You know, Buffalo's I, I, a good place. I wouldn't want to play in another team's stadium. I'd rather play in the AAA or something like that. That's Isn't what they're playing. They're yeah. playing the AAA. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't want to play in, a, in another major league stadium. I, I, I thought that was the weird. Cubs. Anyway, I guess. Yeah. Underneath yeah. new good? head coach, new manager, sorry, David Ross, get a win. Three to nothing over the Milwaukee Brewers. Holy crap. The Miami Marlins right now are undefeated. They are 1-0. and They defeated... The Bryce Harper Philadelphia Phillies five to two. You mean Harper didn't get a win either? Mm, no. Imagine that. Trout and Harper are over two. Dude, and the Miami Marlins put up nine hits. Derek Jeter must be throwing some sort of magic their way. Sixty game season, anything can happen. Ain't that right? Well, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. six, sixty game season, you better be winning. Yes, yeah. Terry, you only got twenty nine more losses. That's right. I was about to say, <laughs> we're right there at it. The magic Indians. number's 30. Oh, no, the big but thing. they finish added. The, yes, finish that. There they, you go. They, they did their best. They're doing their best to get Trout in these playoffs. The yeah. In, yeah, they, they the switched that up. Yeah. I've ever seen the them. Indians like defeated it, the Royals. The Indians defeated the Royals. One to nothing. Two, two to nothing. Two to nothing. Sorry. They had 18 strikeouts, Kansas 18 City. Strikeouts. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. And this, sure. and, but, but if you look see, at it. The I, Indians won I, I, two to nothing and I had five hits to the Royals four I, hits. I just want to I just want to be clear that this was not the Lincolnton Little League, like two teams named <laughs> yeah. the Indians and it was one struck out eighteen times. This was a major league game. Yeah, it was, it was sure two to nothing was. that you defeated the lonely I, last place I, Kansas I just, City Royals. I just want to make sure that they can strike out. I want a major and you league only baseball win team. Two a to major nothing. a major league baseball team struck out eighteen times in the season. I'll tell you this, the biggest Walloping of the day was handed out by the Red Sox. They beat the Orioles thirteen to two, and the Red Sox had seventeen hits yeah. to the Orioles six. That's a travel late game right there. God, I'm telling you, man, Baltimore. What are you doing? If you're not careful, they'll treat you like the NFL is trying to treat Jacksonville and move you. They'll they're put you somewhere. They're not going to move that team out of Baltimore. <laughs> no, it's that's the team that Ripken built. Yeah. The Texas. Uh, some people don't want to sing their name. Defeated the Colorado Rockies one to nothing. 
Another team that was able to get into double-digit scoring was the Minnesota Twins. They defeated the White Sox 10-5. to They had 11 hits and, on the day. In all, in all seriousness, though, the, the Twins, and they added another bat in the offseason. Mm. The, 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 twi the Twins good. have got a good chance to win it all. I'll say that. The Twins are going to be good. Kevin's happy. His Cardinals came out on top in a nail biter. This was actually pretty close all across the board. It was five to four. Cardinals over the Pirates. Cardinals had nine hits. Pirates had eight hits. That one was probably just the difference in the scoring. And they both had one error. So it was very, very tight, tight game you know, against you know, the Pirates. You know what the difference in that game is, Hunter? You gotta say Molina. Wasn't yes, Yadier Molina. He's the catcher, and he had an RBI single. I mean, they won by one. Mike Trout lost. If I, get, if, I just, the wall. if I could just give a little aside, like when I'm listening uh, to the games for their affiliates, have you ever listened to the Kansas City play-by-play -play guy, the real Kansas City play-by-play -play guy? Tom, what's this got to do with what we're talking about St. <laughs> Louis right now? No, I just wanted to have you ever listened to that guy? That's not the point of what we're trying to get <laughs> Have you ever listened to that guy? We're talking about St. Louis <laughs> playing Pittsburgh. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it anymore. I would just say that that is the most boring announcer ever. <laughs> So not, yeah. only is your, not only is your team terrible, you have the worst announcer in Major League Baseball. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate in. it. <laughs> Anytime you want to tune in, just holler. Thank, thank, you, for thought, thought thank you for coming to Tom's Is he as boring as Mountain Houston? Man from Duck Dynasty out of curiosity? He's worse. He oh. is the worst guy. Well, he's so, he's so boring. He's so boring. Tom, show. they can't all be Vince Scully. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Terry doing a game. That's how bad it is. The Astros <laughs> defeat the Mariners 8-2. to two. Oh, wow. I didn't check and see if the Astros got beamed anymore this game. Uh, but the Astros did have 10 hits, so they came out on the top 8-2. to two. Uh, The Diamondbacks lost to the Padres. So there's another multi-million dollar man getting a win. Ma what, Ma Machado? and Yeah, it's Machado that got the win for the Padres. 7-2. to 7-2. to two. What's he making? $40 million a year, too? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, a lot. He's making a yeah. whole lot of money. They're going to be pretty good, Padres. Are. The Dodgers. This is already basically writ write them in. This is what yeah. all the major networks want to write in to the, to the World Series. The Dodgers defeated the Giants 9-1 to one yesterday, 13 hits. And the final that we have talked to, we, we mentioned it earlier, the final game that they put on here, the Athletics defeat the Mighty Angels 7-3. And those are your scores. All right, couple news and notes before we talk about playoffs. Um, the playoff system. I hate. I hate the. I hate one part of it. I yeah. hate one part of it. I, and I think you probably hate it. the one part I hate. <laughs> What's that? The way the it's one that kick they, off. the way well the way that they pick how the the number one teams can pick who they play. Oh the my god! First seat. Yeah, that's in there. Like why? Well, why do you have to pick? Why? I still don't like. We're gonna let the NFL started. do it. We're gonna let. The NBA? How would you feel a team pick? I want to beat you. I think we can beat you, and you pick you. Like, well, okay, I mean, we're it's just, it, how I mean, embarrassing would it be if they lose? Too? But it adds strategy. If like uh -huh. I know that I hit my team hits your pitching, well, I'm gonna pick your team, right, Terry? I mean, would you not do that? Or but would you want that? What sport in the world picks your opponent? Yeah, I was about like, to say. Then what's what? the what's the point of seating if you can just pick the, who you the only play? the only sport I know where you can pick your opponent and pick lesser people is. In, in trucks and Xfinity when Kyle Busch goes down and, and picks his opponents and, and beats the little guys. That's what we're talking here. <laughs> That's the only sport I know. That. Terry's just getting pounded this morning. I, I mean, I, I hate yeah. that. We've got college football. I don't yet, even. We've got a good one for college football. There's all kinds of things. We Number do. one, y'all need to get with real life yeah. what we're speaking on here. But anyway. As we're talking, it's all about, number one, you're going to pick your opponent. Don't you think that benefits the team? These are professional baseball teams. You should Anything be able to play can anybody. happen to you if you're going to pick somebody. I mean, that's just more strategy See, for me to beat them. Yeah, but if – And if, plus, in the first round, it's best two out of three. If I win something and then my first round is the best two out of three, that's going to be pretty easy for me to be gone. It's just what they're going to do. They're gonna they're gonna look at two things. It's like, well, how do my guys hit against yours, and how do your guys hit against mine? And you're gonna, I mean, it's just basic strategy. I mean, you well, know, I know, if, it you, is, if you're but... if you if your guys are batting 187 against my first two pitchers, and it's a three, what what is the first? Is it what's the first here? Are they doing three games or five? It's they're, three. They're, it's it's three. three. It's best out of three. Okay, it's best out of three. So yeah, you one say, against so eight, your, your two lineup, against seven. Th this team has a little you bit. Better, this team has a better record, but the team with a better record is bit, batting 
Oh, yeah. 180 against my number one, number two. But well, now, I'm going to pick you. Okay, here's your problem, too. Also, in this whole thing that we're doing, you're picking two best teams out of each division. Okay, what's that going to game if that worst team out of one division is a below 500 and there's maybe four teams that have a better record, but the only two of them are going to make the playoffs? You see what I'm yeah, saying? No How is per- that no, good? No system's perfect. No well, system. I understand that, but don't you think it ought to be like the best eight teams out of the whole thing if you're going to do that? That would make sense. Instead that, of the top two out of each division? And eight's a good number. I mean, eight, you could you have eight, the four, Yankees two, one. out in front and Boston be 20 games back and they make it because they finish second. Yeah, it could be. Well, that's where the NFL is. I mean, sometimes a team with a better record doesn't get in because... Yeah, but your second place team don't get in on how they finish second. Yeah, true. <laughs> but you do have that team. I won my division at eight and eight. Now I get a home playoff game. Yeah, you know yeah, that's, that's true kinda, too. That's that's kind of one of those things where, and we're hosting a team that's eleven and five. I mean, look, if you want to add more teams, I'm fine for it. But the f- playoff format that they've had for Major League Baseball for years has worked. The only thing I've not liked is the one game play. I was about to say, yeah, I don't, game, I don't. Yeah, base, baseball's not meant to be a game. It's that's not what, meant to be one game. It's well, we. It's always a series. That's why, like. I think Georgia does that all their playoff rounds. I don't think they play as many, but they're three game sets. If I'm, mm-hmm. if I, if I'm, if if I'm, somebody might correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think that's a lot better way to do it because you can play double header on one day. And then if you need go play it the next, see what I mean, Terry, just play two. And then if there's not a sweep, you play the, the next one the next day, because that way you see more of the pitchers. And then you, then you just wait a week. You know what I mean? Just wait till the next week and, and do it again. Instead of playing twice a week like North Carolina does, because you know these these teams don't have anything except one pitcher oh, most yeah. of the time, you know, and they and they're they're sixteen and fifteen because they only won when that one pitcher yep. pitched, mm-hmm. and now he's going to pitch against you in the first round, and you you might be you know twenty and two and get beat one to nothing. So I mean, it's not. I I definitely think it's you need to play a play a set, but you know I don't well, like the one I, game. I don't play. like the best out of three. It ought to be three out of five. Or something, then go to four out of seven. At least three. At you know? least three. You know, because well, just for the wild card, if yeah. you wanted to do three, because what is it? It's- There's no wild card now. It's one against eight, two against seven, three against six, four against five. I know, but did, did they say that's a, going into effect this season? Yeah, yeah this season. They're oh. trying. They're trying to shake it up a little bit because their 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 ratings are down. So they're tr- they're trying to make it more. And they figure the that- question is though, is this. Is this going to be what saves their ratings, though? And I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think th- they just need to speed the game up, you know. And they're, I agree. they're doing, they're doing some things like making the guy finish the inning, yeah, and, and, and things throwing like somebody that. out at second in the tenth, right? Mm-hmm. And they're they're trying you know. to speed the game mm-hmm. up because you know the basketball, football move faster. So they're saying, well, if we can get this thing moving. But uh, I, I will say this: when you when you're doing uh, you know some of these travel leagues and things, it's it's a much more interesting game if the if the teams are hustling on, hustle off, yeah, mm-hmm. and they don't take forever, and and you know the catcher catch ready, right? The catcher's <laughs> ready, yeah. Because anything that I don't care if it's bad, whatever it is, Ooh, right? You know, if it's a bad movie that drags, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just when the, when the pace of something is off, and and. Uh, with uh, football, you know, you got a play clock, and mm-hmm. you know, and other things. And in basketball, you got a shot clock, which See, I think increases that's, pace. I, I've said that for a long time. One of the things that makes baseball very difficult, obviously, for for younger like my generation to get into, is because uh, people realize our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. The, uh, everybody knows that's why Twitter hits so fast and all Instagram hits so fast because it's a few seconds and it's on to the next one. It's yeah. it's, it's for highlight but, reels and we really enjoy that. But that, that's my always been my problem with baseball. Whereas I know what I'm getting with football. I'm getting two roughly two hours of a game and it's over. Same with basketball. I'm getting this amount of time and it's over. We might have overtime. We might not. Where it is in baseball. I've always said this. We could still be in the third inning and have batted through the lineup twice. But and the, until you but, get that third out, we're just gonna have to keep going. Yeah. But the average the average length of a game, like if you look back at the twenties and thirties, I think they were playing nine inning games in like two hours and twenty minutes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. And now now it's not. prolonged. Now now it's like everybody's a yeah. specialist. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but see, but that's trickling down to the to the travel leagues. And one thing that I hear, he's a PO. And there like when I first heard that, I was like, PO. He's a pitcher only. Mm-hmm. I was like, son, 
You are 16 <laughs> years old. Right. Play whatever you can play. They're already specializing at 15 and 16. And then every once in a while, they'll have to bat anyway because, you know, Johnny went to the beach and, and Billy, you know, went to the mountains. So now the P.O., oh, my God, yeah. he has to step on the field and play first base. But I'm like, P.O.? I wouldn't even say – I would say a lot of these guys that are pitchers in community college are good enough to bat, at, you know, at that, at that yeah. junior college level. So why are you throwing away your youth, son? Get out there and play. If I – because I wasn't very good at sports – so if I had a chance to get on the field, period, I don't care where the coach put, put me in left field, right field, catch. I don't care where you. And I, you know what? That's how I became a catcher for a little while, Terry, because nobody else wanted to do it. I'm like, I'll do it. Let me, let me back there. Kids and it's aren't funny like that. that you speak of stuff like that because I've always heard him, and which it happens. If you want in the game, you stay where the coach is at. Wherever yes. he moves, you go with him. If you don't want in the game, they can't you. find you anyway. I'm a PO. Yeah. And I, I actually told a few, what do you mean P.O.? I just, yeah. I just pitch. It's like a kid, you're 14 years old. Play. If you're an athlete, I saw, I was telling a hunter, uh, maybe I was telling hunter this, the, the bandies has got a little, their older boys had a weekend team. Well, they had, they ran out of pitching. Well, the shortstop we ain't pitched since like middle school. Yeah, I'll pitch. And then they had a catcher, they, their, their starting catcher. He got a little too hot. It was warm. So the other kid comes in. He said, well, I hadn't caught since about middle school, but I'm an athlete. And they got back there. I'm going to tell you what, Terry, you'd have never known that boy wasn't a pitcher and the other one wasn't a catcher. They just want to play. What happened to that, Terry? What what happened to that? You yeah, know, everybody's, I, I, I don't know what happened to that. It's crazy. I like back in the NFL days where you had guys, he was the quarterback, and he would, like, kick field goals and but punt. All and all do quarterback more. Is punt. Yeah, all yeah, quarterback yeah. Punt. Like I did more than I one high school. And then the quarterback would sometimes be the holder. Right. First, our first three games actually at Bessemer, I was rotating with the other other quarterback, and the way we did it, whoever 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 was out there when it was fourth down, he was the punter. Yeah, <laughs> and then the other one. So me and him had a deal, like, because we didn't want to just keep running back and forth off the field or whatever. So even or even on kick, even on defense, if we would do whoever was back on that too, we, he would be the the punt returner. So we'd kind of be a little fair about it. If I got a punt a couple times, I'll get to go at least go out there and try to catch one, but. Um, nobody punted to us anyway, so it didn't, it didn't happen, but maybe once a game. See, but even, you know, even when I played, yeah, I punted, but in, in practice, all right, coach, where you need me? All right, right. Well, go, go to the, well, we need you on scout team, play fullback, play free safety. You know what? I mean, you, I didn't say, no, I'm a, I'm a kicker only coach. I don't do that. <laughs> and I was like, no, no. It's like, you need me to play safety? Maybe I'll play good enough. Maybe he'll sneak me in and play. Of course he never did. But there was the hope, Terry, that maybe you would get in the game. But even it's that true. practice was still fun. I mean, I practice don't like a game. I mean, I, mean, you know, I don't know what I don't understand causes. these kids. I, don't I really understand. don't know what causes major league baseball games to take so long because they change pitcher. Everybody, oh, well, we got a yes, they do we that. Bring in a left and then right they, here, they, right the here, guy here, after yeah. every pitch wants to play with every piece of jewelry on his body. He wants to step out of the batter's throw. box. He's got to call time, time. Yeah. Right, time. He's about Pick to throw the time. You know what I say? Some hands. Yeah. You know what I say? You know what you how you can speed up the game. Is you could just draw a little line by there by first base. This is as far as you can lead, <laughs> and you can only throw over there so many times, mm -hmm. and th that would cut the games by about oh. ten minutes right there. But you can't do that. I mean, that would just take too much away. But from now, the game. now you're speaking of stuff like that. Now, as the older ones, we understand what they're doing. But when you're in the younger ones, and they keep throwing it to first base, and the poor kid's not two steps off of first. And sometimes, <laughs> but we're trying to keep him close. Sometimes trying to keep him. Close. Sometimes yeah. the first baseman will say that. Sometimes the first baseman will say, two step lead, man. What are you doing? Yeah. That's you know? what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, and then we're still throwing it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But, you know, they do need to they do need to get it sped up. But I, I think, you know, when Hunter says why didn't it take so long, I think that back in the day that there's a little more hustle on the <laughs> those guys on and off. And you'd have one guy I mean, to, to do nine innings was no big deal. They those guys. I mean, didn't Cy Young pitch like double headers? I mean, you know, crazy stuff. Now, God forbid. I'm not saying to do that now. Oh, my goodness. God forbid I'm they not do that now. I'm not saying that. But, you know, if the guy can pitch nine innings and you don't have to I go wonder, out there change I would pitchers. really like to see how a pitcher would react in this 60-game season when they hear their manager look at them and say, you pitched yesterday. I need you ready in two days. <laughs> They're not going to do that. Not I, when not when you're making $20 million a year. You I know. Anyway. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you ain't doing it. It's ridiculous. That. So, Act like you can't throw to you no, need you need a whole week. To Tommy John you need yeah. a whole week yeah. to sit. 
Well, there, there's a routine. You got to do all the, you know, you got to do the jogging. You got to do the uh-huh. stretch. I mean, it's the it's it's it's, 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 a, it's a def it's definitely a lot of like between. There's like they they have a regiment is what I'm saying. Oh, they do. between their between their start. So you just can't do. Well, that after week after opening day, Terry, who do you have winning it all? Well, I went back to my, my, my list that I wrote down here, and the Dodgers did win yesterday. Chicago Cubs did win yesterday. San Diego did win yesterday. Did Milwaukee win? No. Okay, they lost and Atlanta lost, so that's where I messed up on one side. On the other side, I had the Yankees that did win. Chicago lost. Houston won. Kansas City lost and Tampa Bay lost. But my outer teams that I had could have made it, did not make it. St. Louis and Minnesota both won, so. My predictions are not too bad to start the year and through one game. What did you say about Minnesota? They might make the yeah. They might make it in to the playoffs. The playoffs. Louis, yeah, you're telling me the best hitting team in baseball might make it into the now, playoffs. Boston said they was yesterday. God, yeah, they crushed Tom, the ball. Tom again. The, the best. The hitting- Cardinals have only been in Yadier's career have been under 500 two games total in one season. They were 79 mm-hmm. and 83. And he picked them to go under 560 games. That's the safest bet in baseball. He Unless just, Yadier gets hurt. I didn't hurt. predict them to go under. under. They could be 30 you, and you 30. Missed, yeah, yeah, you're right. You missed them not to make the playoffs. <laughs> could but either way, 30 and 30. the safest bet in baseball is they're going to be over 500 no matter what. I'm not saying they're going to have the best record, but by God, if Yadier is there, they're, they're going to have they're going to be over 500. Guess who has the best record in baseball since 2009 in the American League? Who that? That would be the Cleveland Indians. Mm. Most mm. wins. What about since 2008? League. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> 2010. 2008. Best who has the best overall record since, what did you say, 2009? 2009. Okay. How many, Super, Indians, how many World wins. Series they win? Oh, never oh. mind. Forget it. Kansas City lucked up and won one in <laughs> Yeah, they messed around and had yeah. to get but, him one. But it feels like Kansas City might have pulled a Jerry Jones and sold their soul to get that World well, Series. Yeah. So. Well, let me ask something, Tom. With, with all these starters you know, coming out after 100 pitches and we're all scared to, to touch each other or do whatever, why shouldn't or would you guys not? Why I'm not even I'm not saying I'm for it. I'm just asking a question. Would you guys you talk about ways to speed up the game? How would you just play regular baseball and play seven innings? I wouldn't bother me. The bit. stats don't matter anymore because of the steroid era and whatever. And the war the the steroid in the war era destroyed all of our stats and and how we compare to anything. You know what you do in the stat book? You just draw a line, chapter two. <laughs> and just, yeah, and just go so, on. So well, y'all wouldn't be any any way opposed to that. I know the players unions might be closers, or you lose a couple of relievers, but I, I don't know. Well, you know, the good of one does not come before the good of the greater good. I guess you know yeah. what I'm saying. So I mean, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. Any way they can improve the game, uh, you know, the, the pace of play and and the speed of the game, I think would be good for Major League Baseball. But it was good to have it back. Yeah. You know, yes, it, we yes. could talk about this or that, but. You know, that's one of the things I always like to do in the summertime is I listen to the last two innings of the, of the Indians game or the Braves game on uh, because we have that on CSL. Right. It's on CSL. The Braves are on CSL. Right. So, you know, just listen to uh, listen to those. I enjoy the announcers and, uh, and and just, you know, it's a summertime thing. I mean, yeah. it is very nice. It was, I'll be honest. It's just nice that we have ball sports coming yeah. back so, right now. Yeah. So Yadier set a major league record yesterday. Don't know about this one. I do strike out. He started. No, he don't oh. strike. Oh. Oh. That's, that's, I said Yadier, not Mike Trout. Oh, Yadier will start his 16th straight, which was yesterday, opening day at catcher for the Cardinals. That breaks a tie with the Yankees' Bill Dickey as the longest streak on opening day starts with a single team of any catcher in Major League Baseball history. So Yadier started the most opening days consecutively for a team than any other catcher in Major League Baseball history. I think it was 1960 is when Dickies ended, so it's been 60 years since since anybody's done done that. So congratulations to him on the, on the win and all that. Keep this it is up. the Yadier Molina show, by the way. Hey, you got, you got to recognize, reckon, real recognize is real, Tom. <laughs> hey, how it goes. Something like that. Is that right? I've real never rec- heard that before yeah, in my life. Yeah, real recognize <laughs> real. That's a younger That's a thing. One. That's, That's a younger one. thing. All right, I want to look back at last year's uh, playoffs real quick. If we're going to have eight teams... Uh, let's look at that. How about that? So, in the National League, Braves, Nationals, Cardinals, Brewers, and Dodgers made it. Uh, the next few teams that would be in the playoffs would be the Mets with 86 wins, the Diamondbacks at 85, 
and the Cubs at 84. You know exactly why they did this this playoff expansion to try and make up for some of the games that they aren't going to have. Now, I They're going to get TV, te- television revenue yeah. out this world. I will say this. This is pretty much the exact schedule that I've wanted forever. 60 to really 100 games is what I want and 16 team playoff. Like I want more playoffs, more more seven game series, which is more Tom you, Terry, y'all have been to thousands of American Legion. Which one's better, regular season American Legion baseball or playoff series? No, well, series is better. The series yeah. were so much fun to, to, to watch. I mean, like I said, Terry, if your team, you know, as the Royals, you, you get to so many losses, you're just like, what are we watching for anymore? You know, so we now got 50 the, games for nothing. Yeah. That's Crazy thing, this year now cutoff's eight. Eight out of the 15 teams on both sides. So American League it, so. would be. Uh, I think I guess I'm okay with it. Just I think eight. it's too probably. It feels like it's too many. Because everybody's getting, but as long as everybody's got a winning record, I would be probably happy with it. I mean, um, so I mean, over fifty percent of the teams from each well, other. That's, 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 that's what the NBA does. Well, that's the problem I'm having. And we was talking a minute ago. Your top two out of each division mm-hmm. make it, and then the next two with the best record. Oh, that's the rule. Yeah, that's how they're doing it. So if I'm the Yankees and I'm ahead of Boston by twenty games. And Boston really is like the fourth or fifth team that should not make it. And when I go to the two best records, I have to pick two other teams. But Boston's automatically going to get in. And there might be three other teams that had a better record than that. Wait, look, look but at they're going to make it in. Look at this. Last year, all the second-place teams would have made it if they would just put them in order. So, um, they, But but there's going to be exceptions. I mean, you're right, Terry. Like, same thing with the NBA. You're going to have, you know, one year in the East, you're going to have two or three teams under 500. And, yeah. And, yeah. Baseball, looking at it, it seems they they do they, they got more winning records and losing records. This Dan Mullen guy made a really good point. Yep. I was reading this article and, and it was about the format and the 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 main context was that which teams benefit most from the new format. And he made a very good point. He said, "I see two distinct teams helped most by this format. The first one, the offensive first teams, bunch of top end talent." but they don't really have the depth to win the division, but they can always be competitive. And he said in a team with a couple of aces, essentially with the, it's just the defensive side of that, who who can't win the division, but they've got enough talent to at least sneak in, the, sneak in there and win games. I, so that, that's I, what, think that's, I think that makes a good point. That's what I like about the Indians' chances. They have lots of pitching. You know, they, they, I'm, well, I'm I will fr- say this. I'm if, afraid Terry's yeah. right they can't hit. But I, they, I will they, say they this, though, pitch. too. They I do, mean, it blows, it plays pitch. right into what Terry said, then. If it's, if it's expanded, it is for this year. If it's expanded, then Kansas City has the opportunity. They have a shot. I'm not going to say they that it's, it's set in stone, but it seems like everybody has kind of an open shot right now. Anybody. Even, dare I say it, Baltimore, until they just go ahead and hit 30 games <laughs> here in well, about well, 29 well, more games. You know, them in Detroit has not been good for a number right. of seasons. That's Detroit, to Miami. me, has not been good since they lost Verlander. I mean, well, Miami I can understand, yeah. but Detroit. But now here's Verlander. He did pitch yesterday, and he won. Mm-hmm. And no Astro was a uh, hit. During I'm surprised. The game. I'm lucky I'm not pitching. So last yeah. year, <laughs> uh, in the American League, now we have a conundrum, Terry. The Rangers would have made it with only 78 wins. See? That's what I'm saying. It's that's going to happen. That's going to happen. It's going to happen if you go with this Hunter, route continuously. Mr. Conspiracy, the Angels are, would only have been six games back of a playoff spot last year. So they're in the hunt. Dude, I'm telling you. Hey, and here's who, what's funny. Who is giving them most of their television revenue right now? It's more than likely – it's going to be ESPN. The Angels, Hunter, finished 35 games out of first place last year, and they were only six out of a playoff spot. <laughs> like, I, I just it's, want it, people to realize it. It's NBA on that. I want so people it, to realize it, it. They did that for Zion this year to try and get him. He, he's got the easiest schedule in the bubble. He's like a game and a half, What's two games back in the West. What's the point of everyone changing the, the actual like, rules? Like, why are we changing rules for, you know, it, like, like, or they want the to playoff get. System. They want this, to get their the, golden this child, is just Mike the time Trout. We can in. do this. It's the same reason why the. NFL, I'm not talking about baseball. I'm just talking about all of them in general. Like, why it, are we even in entertaining like these weird different rules just because it's a shortened season? Just play the regular playoffs. It's an excuse do. to do it. And yeah. Like the NFL's done it. You know the NFL. Uh, the NFL is always like the, when they move the extra points back. Oh, they change it. The they they test a lot of stuff with their and, preseason. Yeah. yeah but there will then, be no preseason. For and them. then what the NFL did with the clock. Really helped out because when a guy runs out of bounds, and then as soon as it stops, but then when you reset the ball, the clock starts to go. Unless you're the, in like five minutes or something. Mm-hmm. But those are but things that speed the up. The problem with that, though, has anyone ever, do people complain about football games taking too long? Here's why they do is the commercial breaks. College that, football takes forever. I would rather, Tom, them not, 
I'd rather them stop the clock because once you time it out, didn't we didn't we look at it? It was like there's only like eight minutes of actual football in a 60-minute NFL game. It's somewhere around eight to ten minutes of actual football that you watch. So you on, And then you, you extrapolate that out to how long it takes. Well, a 60-minute game somehow takes 180 minutes. So you got 120 minutes of not playing football. Then you reduce that down to 10 to 12, 8 to 12. So now you're looking at 180 minutes of watching football and you only see eight to 10 minutes of actual football. Yeah, but, but what else they do, though, to speed it up is when the ball goes out of bounds, the clock stops, but the play clock immediately oh, yeah, starts. Oh, yeah, well, the play, yeah, yeah. So you get, you know, they can't mm-hmm. drag around. But, they, but, uh, it, but the clock don't actually stop until, like, uh, five minutes or two minutes. I can't remember the exact. When you go out of bounds, it stops until they set the ball. But see, we're talking right. about yeah. clock. I mean, baseball, there is no clock. Well, they talked about a pitch clock. I wanted them to bring that pitch clock back where it was when the catcher caught it, as soon as it went back to the pitcher's glove, as soon as he catches it, you got to start getting I on would, the mound. But you got to start it on the pop of the catcher's glove. Yeah. On oh, the when the catcher the catches, catches it. When he catches it. Okay. Because I'd, then I'd they're be sitting there doing that. all this crap. And I'd be fine with it. Same, yeah. as, same thing I would be fine with putting a limit on how many times batter can step out of the box. Yeah, I mean, that... That, that some of them do it shouldn't be, It's supposed yeah. to be zero, actually, ain't it? I no, mean, if you call the, the, umpi- time. the umpire grants yeah. time. No, no, I'm saying way. without calling time. Like you just, oh, okay. yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. But how many times does an umpire not grant time? Oh, yeah, at the end, major league level, it, no. It's no, one I know when we're doing it, there's a lot of times I don't. Well, I mean, what, you know, well, and I'm sorry. Th- but this, this is what will happen, especially if you're doing some daddy ball. And I had one. I mean, every time, <clears> like, the pitch came set, call time. I was like, okay. Maybe a bug got in your eye, blah, blah, blah. Pitcher came set. Time. Yeah. I like the, like the third, like, and that's daddy ball yeah. crap. So the third time, he like I, he said time. I said no. He stepped out of the box. He had a pitch, called a strike. Yeah. No, and then here come daddy. Well, you can't do that. You can't tell him to get in the box. I'm mean, like, really, dad? Yeah. You know, it's like, why, but, but my question is, dad, why are you teaching the boy this? Why why are you teaching him that Bush League mm-hmm. stuff? Uh, right like, off the understand. bat, you're, thir- you're either third, first base coach or third base coach. Step out, step out, step out. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, just like, why? I'm looking here at this why? article a little bit more. And, uh, I don't know. They're not giving me their first names. But uh, apparently three of the guys that were talking about this, Doolittle, Schoenfield, and Mullen, they were asked, what would your 16-team playoff field be if it was for this season? I'll go over, like, the Doolittle. Uh, and the AL, he had it being the Yankees, Astros, Twins, and A's, Rays, White Sox, Indians, and then the Angels. The NL had the Dodgers, Nationals, Cardinals, Braves, Padres, Cubs, Diamondbacks, and Reds. Show and Field had the Rays, Twins, Astros, Yankees, Indians, A's, Angels and White Sox, the National League, yeah, the Nationals, Reds, Dodgers, Braves, Diamondbacks, Mets, Cubs, and Brewers, and Mullen had it being in the American League, Astros, Yankees, Twins, Rays, A's, Indians, Angels, and White Sox. The National League, he had it, Dodgers, Braves, Reds, Brewers, Mets, Nationals, D-backs, and Padres. So to me, it looks like to them, they, they kind of all have about the same feel for who's going to make it. Uh, the one that stands out to me, though, if if you go that based off of who they're giving the one seed and working backwards from there, uh, Mullen has got really or no Schoenfield's got the Rays <laughs> possibly trying to get the one seed. I mean, unless they just that's just how they listed it out. Um, well, but I think I think that it's it's set up that way. I'm my not, question for them, Hunter, is what has the Angels did? What have they done that's to what I make was them point better? Out. From last year to this year. That's what I was going to point out. You know, Kevin, you know, jokingly, but in all seriousness, he's right whenever he looked at me and said, you know, conspiracy theory. It's like I want everybody to to understand. It's an ESPN article, and all three of these guys that they asked put the Angels in as being a team. What, what did to they make, done? What did to, they gain? To make it in this 16-team playoff. What has been a plus for them to make it? And if we go, if we go and we look at maybe and how, how many did you say games they were back last year? If 30, it was thirty five from first, from six first, out from a playoff, six, if six, six out from, from six it, playoff from that playoffs, yeah. Okay. If it was no 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 no, from if that, it was this that, one, if it was this one, they'd okay. be six out. Uh, okay, so well, was there a team in front of them? Um, yeah. Oh, you talking about? I'm just saying, it was there a team in front of them last year? But still, there was you're three teams six in front of them. They were in fourth, they were in, they were in fourth <laughs> place. In their own division. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about between them and the next spot. Yeah, I'm talking uh, about them in the next look. spot. If it was if it was this year's 
playoff format, and you're they, telling me they, they were six games out? Was there a team in between them? No, they, they were tied with the White Sox at 72 and 89. I just listened to a podcast coming down here who said the White Sox might have the team in this 60-game format to make a run to the World Series. So now you're, meaning, so you're me. meaning to tell me Everybody's that the Angels are going to be on the same level as a team I just heard had the possibility of winning the World Series. I don't, I don't understand it. Yeah, that's I mean, what I said. What have you gained? Right. What player have you gained to make you that much better this year? What, Otani's coming back for this season? Okay. I mean, we thought he was going to be the next big thing because he could pitch and, and hit and play every well, other field position. He didn't look good last night. I, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's not for me to being a Mike Trout hate. That's more of just me looking at the organization saying, yes. as a whole, there you what, what have you what have you done in the past few years besides made a playoffs one made a playoff berth once while Mike Trout's been there for nine years and you didn't even win? I think what you need to do is just play about ten games, let this thing start shaking out a little. That's bit. That's what's gonna happen. And That's then, what's and, gonna then and then start making your bold predictions. So what everybody right now, I think they're opening up with. I'm pretty sure most people are opening up with a four game series right now against the team three, that they're playing three, three or four yeah. three. When so, Kansas City is nine and one after ten games, and then we'll go from there. So I mean well then <laughs> let me pose this question. What's in that bottle, Terry? I don't know. I think well, he's I mean, been up to Vail. Uh, yeah, I think he's been up to Vail and getting let, a little moonshine. This, when you me, do next time you bring <laughs> bring us some, okay? Let me pose this question then. You know, would it be fair to say maybe the Angels aren't even worth considering for a playoff berth if they go 0-3 in this opening series against the A's. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. You, you never don't. know what's going to happen. Because they, I mean, I know you never know what's going to happen. Uh, my whole deal is this. If you're a good team and you fall behind early, your chances on making up is not good. Oh, I, but that's, now, how, that's how but I now, feel about Atlanta problem. right now. Well, and no, it's only now, been here's one game. Your problem. When they expanded it, a little bit more to add more teams. That's giving teams like that a chance. See, but here's what mm-hmm. here's what y'all are all forgetting about. <clears throat> You're forgetting about our friend the coronavirus. Wait oh. till one team gets it, and and you know what the K- Kansas City Mike Trout had, gets it. They stopped Kansas the league. City. I think had 15 relief pitchers mm-hmm. in the bullpen. <laughs> yeah. What if one of them had the coronavirus? And then your whole bullpen staff is taken out. Well, that's why they got now the six. What? That's why I'm telling you. That's why the MLB when you, start said, pu- when you start pulling people in that's bagging groceries at Walmart and say, well, hey. I know, I know. I'm just saying that's why, <laughs> the, that's why the MLB's got the <laughs> 60 man taxi taxi club because they're like, hey, we're you just can, playing this thing can, through. You can find JP. You listening in there? You can find Super Bowl winning. In, in league MVPs bagging groceries at the grocery store. That would be Kurt Warner. If you look around That would be Kurt Warner. That would be Kurt JP, you got an arm in there? He was stocking shelves, actually. Actually, he was a stocking. Okay, you're talking about a Super Bowl bagging groceries. Yeah, they the, a football uh-huh. team hired a guy who was bagging groceries, and he ended up winning, I think, two MVPs in a Super Bowl. He was stocking shelves, JP. Okay, well, but more or less point, what store was he working at? I, 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 it wasn't public. So. I don't know, but I'll, I'll tell you well, this. There you that's go right the there. He ain't going to win for a good JP. reason. <laughs> that's not the more What story we worked for was definitely not the more not the point of that yeah. story. Yeah, I know, but that's all I took from it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> JP, Guys, you know I don't like sports. Yeah, I was just yeah. making the point, JP. If you if, could if, throw if, a football if, about 80 yards, you'd have an if, opportunity. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. If you, I think Tom's saying the stock boys pick up enough. They've got their shoulders right. I think that's, that's what football it is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're stalking, yeah, you have to have muscles. I mean, granted, some of the stuff they pick up is very heavy. Look at all, look at all the packs of water. I mean, the two mm-hmm. liters. Now, granted, the two liters aren't done by stalkers. They're done by vendors. But even so, being said... Being a stalker, you have to have some mus- muscles in that capacity. I mean, I don't understand how the Angels and the Athletics both played, and they both had seven hits. Just the Athletics scored seven runs, and the Angels scored three. Ask the Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> they, they, timely they, they, hits. Hunter, Dude, well, timely I was playing. hits. Listen, I will say but this. But the war don't count timely hits, Tom. They just count the hits. The Cincinnati, hits are equal. So, so what was it? Cincinnati, timely hits don't matter Cincinnati at all. Cincinnati Reds last year had the best plus minus and had a losing record. Because what, what, what did timely hits produce, y'all? RBIs, runs. yeah, but that does that's not in the uh, the war equation, is it? The Reds scored seven runs this year. Look like they're trying to keep that plus minus pretty dang good. You know he he worked of, he look. worked at the Cedar Falls High V grocery store, whatever that is. Iowa High V is the name of the but grocery I, store. A, here's a stat I'd like to see on every team: What is your batting average with runners and scoring position as a team 
And what is your yep. ERA Guess with a runners in scoring position as a pitch staff? Guess what, Tom? That's going to tell you if you're going to win games. Is it not, Terry? Guess, Guess what, That's Tom? what's going to tell you. That, what you just said, this, the, the people who believe in these advanced stats will tell you that's the dumbest thing that anyone has ever said. No, it's not. It, this is what, I know. It, I agree. But that was, uh, listen, if you go in there and, and people, this is their argument. They're the against, guys with pocket calculators. They're, we they're, really don't care. Their about. argument against Pujols and these RBI men, and why are, they say RBI don't matter, is because this is their argument. On average, batters hit the same whether there's someone on base or not on batting no, average. No. And I and I and again I try to explain to them and I say it all the time. Situational. You know how many hitting. time Albert Pujols has went backside to move a runner? Mm-hmm. Situational. You hitting. can't get a hit every at bat. So some at bats you're you're off balance. The pitcher's better than you. You're just trying to make contact. You go O two. You're like, oh crap! I don't want to K here. So you're just putting a ball in play. And their argument is that the batters have the same batting average on average mostly. That, and so that's why they say that's why they poo poo RBIs now. And it, they do, RBIs is not an important stat to these people. But I can go down the RBI list and read the, the top ten. That's basically the ten best hitters of all time. See what what else I would say is you know if if it's seven to nothing and you're pitching to a guy with nobody on base, well you're gonna you might groove a couple. He might hit one out of the park. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're so, throwing strikes. Out but there. if it's runners on second and third and you've got to get this guy, you're gonna you're gonna pitch him different. So I mean all mm-hmm. that all that stuff is is baloney. You know, I, and I, you got to look at it. You know because. If they're good enough, they should be able to put the ball wherever they want to uh, when it comes in, if it's the right pitch, situational hitting, what is the defense giving him? Is he going to be hitting it? Is he going to pull it? Is he going to try and put it to the left if the guy's on first so he can move him around the bases? I don't. I mean, the calculator doesn't work all that out, okay? That's why if you ain't played and you don't just – and you just – How do you think l- these managers punch numbers these in, guys, the, the analytics department selling, telling the – I mean, let's think about it. So, Terry, you, if you got a guy that bats 315 and a guy that bats 280, and the analytics department says, bat the guy that bats 280 because he, whatever, if the sun's out on a Thursday, and your manager's like, well, I'm going <laughs> to, no, 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 he's going to bat the 280, and the analytics are going to say bat the 315. And the manager says 280 because he feels better than this guy. He probably, he feels, he's got a feeling. And what they're arguing about, we well, do the math, Tom, what are they arguing about? 3%. Yeah, I know. 3%. <laughs> Third, it, it, we 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 break it out in baseball to say three fifteen when it's thirty one percent. You get to hit thirty one percent. Like let's think of basketball terms. So you're telling me so it's three thirty one against twenty eight percent. Now we're talking three percent. It don't sound that bad. But if you say it to some to a stat person, it's well that's forty points higher. Well, it's only three mm-hmm. percent. Like, like the, you're not doing the, the the basic math. You're I don't know, you're extrapolating. It. We're going to infinity on here on the on the decimals. And it's not. It's not right. Let's add a few more zeros in front of it, <laughs> then we'll see it. Now he's up a thousand points. On oh, <laughs> right, he's batting uh, a thousand. Anything oh, he's else? Batting one. Did we miss anything on the baseball? Uh, I, I I think you guys about covered. I had I, some I notes think that, in my head. You know, on it was mostly just we're happy to be back. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back, baseball. See how much easier the show is when you have an actual game to talk about. Welcome back, baseball. Uh, we didn't mention it either because, well, I'm actually not upset I didn't mention it because no one really cares about them. The Yankees won, whatever. Yeah, whatever. They, did. Yeah, they won their opening game. What a rain delay. Uh, or it rained rain it out. Shortened, yeah. Yep, five innings. They won. They six. beat the Nationals. All right, we're six. about to get a break. Uh, I'm just glad that Dr. Fauci put an excellent exhibition on a throwing and wearing mask. Have you seen the pictures he's in the 80, stands? He's 81 the, years old. Yeah, I know. The, but he missed it by uh, Oh, hey. He might as well have thrown it in the center field. I'm talking about his... I, I don't his mask wearing abilities at the games. This is this is him with his nose out over his mask. This is the great doctor, the ingenious of a doctor, and his nose is out. <laughs> oh, then nobody was within six foot of him. They weren't. I can prove that again. Give me two <laughs> seconds later. I'm about to change all that. <laughs> this time, this is him in the stands. Now, how many how many empty seats are there in the stands with two guests, and he doesn't have his mask on? But mask work. This is our fearless leader, doctors of the world, throwing baseballs 20 feet and not wearing masks properly or at all. I'm being honest. With people I, sitting I, and touching shoulder to shoulder. Even, I don't even know if that thing went 20 feet. Shoulder to shoulder. That throw was not. I, w- I was wondering if that was Photoshop, though, in all seriousness. <laughs> in all seriousness, surely he wouldn't be caught not wearing Oh, masks. he surely was, Tom. He surely was. That's how he's sitting in the ballpark, talking to his friend. Shoulder. They didn't even sit a seat apart. Not one seat. That's three 20, feet. Twenty feet. Shoulder to shoulder. If you're sitting in a stadium next to someone in the baseball stadium, Terry, are you not touching them? 
There's no way you can't touch this is where he, so This small. is where he messed up anyway. He messed up back in March. He said, don't wear a mask. And then two weeks yeah. later, the mm-hmm. the, uh, the well, Surgeon General the is feelings. on there saying, make a mask out of a T-shirt. All right, and JP, then, you ready? Yeah, that's strange. Is he ready? I yeah, can't see. My, like I moved my screen. I can't even see that side of the thing now. Yep. All right, well, I'm ready for some golf today. I'm excited. It's going to come up this afternoon, 2 o'clock. Watch live on KTC Broadcasting's uh, WOHS YouTube page. Burns Bulldogs Golf uh, with Tom Cinefani, Hunter, and Jason, and myself, and Andre, and, and everybody else. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back. We've got NFL. We've got NBA to talk about. We're going to get on that. Uh, and we've got some NASCAR to talk about uh, this and week as well. And a college well. football reference. And a college football reference as well. All right. We'll be back in just a few minutes. KTCBroadcasting.com. Spending too much time at home with nothing to do? Then go shopping. That's right. Go shopping at whatsupshopper.com. Local area businesses are featuring their products and services on whatsupshopper.com. You can also play our contest, listen to the swap shop, and more. Make it one of your favorites. There are also valuable coupons from area businesses. And as they say, let your fingers do the walking and shop online at whatsupshopper.com. You'll love it. The NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series. Oh, a sledgehammer shot into the safer barrier. Finishes a doubleheader week in Kansas with another 200 miles. Shower of sparks out from under that machine. Who will take the checkers at the Kansas Speedway? And Matt Crafton has stole the win here tonight at the Kansas Speedway. Saturday afternoon at 1 on the Motor Racing Network. On Carolina Country WCSL, 92.3 FM, 1590 AM, and online at kdcbroadcasting.com. Every game is huge for the Braves as this sprint of a 2020 season rolls on. So make sure you're right here for every epic moment. Off the end of the bat, in the air, out toward right center. Here comes Acuna. He lays out. Did he reel it in? You bet he reeled it in. What a play by Ronald Acuna. Braves baseball back on Carolina Country, WCSL. Also the boss, WHS and WLON, online at kdcbroadcasting.com. For an Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something that they take, well, personally. Allstate agents are committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluate an optional coverage based on your protection needs, your Allstate agent can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. And you're in good hands. Contact Cherryville Allstate agent John Brown today for a free quote. Call 704-435-1920. It's time to play at the Green Meadows Golf Course on Kelly Road in Mount Holly. Play and ride Monday through Friday for $25. Weekends just $30. Seniors ride and play Monday through Friday for $20. And every Wednesday is Ladies' Day. Ladies play and ride for just $15. So make your tee time now by calling the Green Meadows Golf Course. 704-827-9264. Green Meadows Golf Course, 957 Kelly Road in Mount Holly. Hey, are you daydreaming of a new deck for the summer? Carolina Federal Credit Union in Cherryville can help. Right now, Carolina Federal Credit Union in Cherryville has home equity loans available at 4% APR. Just call 704-435-0186 for more information and find out how to apply. Carolina Federal Credit Union, 1200 East Church Street in Cherryville. Online at carolinafcu.org. Like them on Facebook, too. That's Carolina Federal Credit Union in Cherryville. Spending too much time at home with nothing to do? Then go shopping. That's right. Go shopping at whatsupshopper.com. Local area businesses are featuring their products and services on whatsupshopper.com. You can also play our contest, listen to the swap shop, and more. Make it one of your favorites. There are also valuable coupons from area businesses. And as they say, let your fingers do the walking and shop online at whatsupshopper.com. You'll love it. The NASCAR Xfinity Series. He'll go inside. Now he'll fly to the outside. Look out. Is in Kansas. It's Chase Briscoe to the bottom. Can Chase Briscoe continue his phenomenal season with yet another victory? Off turn four, side by side to the finish. It's the NASCAR Xfinity Series at the Kansas Speedway. Saturday afternoon at 4.30 on the Motor Racing Network. On Carolina Country WCSL, 92.3 FM, 1590 AM, and online at kdcbroadcasting.com. 
Every game is huge for the Braves as this sprint of a 2020 season rolls on. So make sure you're right here for every epic moment. Off the end of the bat, in the air, out toward right center. Here comes Acuna. He lays out. Did he reel it in? You bet he reeled it in. What a play by Ronald Acuna. Braves baseball back on Carolina Country, WCSL. Also the boss, WHS and WLON, online at kdcbroadcasting.com. It's time to ride. Summertime fun starts on a bike from Pink's Auto Sales on the Dallas Cherryville Highway in Cherryville. Go to their page at whatsupshopper.com and check out their inventory. Right now you'll find a 2004 Harley-Davidson Softail, a 2007 Harley-Davidson Ultra Class, a 2008 Harley-Davidson Heritage Softail, and a 2014 Harley-Davidson Street Glide, and many, many more. Drop by the lot at 7507 on the Dallas Cherryville Highway right outside of Cherryville. Again, the McCall at 704-629-2729 or 704-678-0065. Knowing the day I was born. Well, now take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. It's time to go fishing. Whether it's at your favorite fishing hole or the lake or even the ocean, the great outdoors in Cherryville is what you need. Come see their full line of fishing tackle. Visit the all-new Reel Shed and boats too. Fast boats, pontoon boats, and pleasure boats. They've got them all. So take down your favorite fishing pole and head to the Great Outdoors in Jerryville. Highway 150 East, right behind McDonald's. Online at teamgreatoutdoors.com. Like them on Facebook too. It's cookout time. Time to head to South Mountain Farms for the freshest, tenderest, best tasting meat you'll ever put on your grill. They've got it all. Chicken, pork, hamburger, hot dogs, all cuts of steak. Try their sausage and hams, barbecue butts and shoulders, and they even carry fish too. For the best cookout you'll ever have, get your meat today at South Mountain Farms. Open 8 to 4.30 Monday through Friday, 8 to 11.30 Saturday mornings. Call 704-538-6610. South Mountain Farms, 351 Flat Rock Road, Lawndale. And welcome back to Saturday Morning Sports Talk with Kevin and the gang. I'm pretty sure I just yelled at everybody on air. That's fine. That's okay. That, yeah. I forgot my mic was on. <laughs> See, hey, okay. tell you, you woke him up, all right? Yeah, I woke him up. Yeah, nine four. Good gosh. There um, you go. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sports Talk. Let's talk a little uh, NBA action. Uh, we're going to move. We've got a couple quick segments here to finish up the show. we got NBA, NASCAR, and football to talk about. Um Real quick, a uh, couple of things. Um, if you, know, you fellas know, how about Bo Bo going off? Told you guys last year, I thought he was the uh, the steal of the draft. He lasted all the way into the second round. Seven foot two, Bo Bo, uh, in his first game, gets 16 points, 10 rebounds, six blocks, and a drug test. Is that, is that <laughs> Manu Bo's kid? Yes. They drug tested him after the game, Hunter. After coming in his first game and <laughs> wearing everybody out, <laughs> he's a. I, I would say they probably gave him that Malik Monk he's deal. A, he's a better shooting. He's almost man, Hunter. I, I'm I'm going to go there right now. He could be. I'm not saying he will be, but he's a lot like Giannis right now. But he can shoot threes. The problem is he's too thin. He still got to somehow fill out that seven foot two. Yeah, frame. him, him, and if he did, I agree. Giannis and Durant and all of them, you know, Giannis they're, they're came in almost skinny. too thin, and he changed his body dramatically. He's got good handle and he's got good passing. Kevin Durant's got better handle. Kevin D- Durant. Kevin is, Durant got he's the, the best ultimate, handles for anybody at six eleven. He's the seven ultimate foot. offensive weapon, is what Durant is. Um, Bamba is a, is such. I mean, Bamba. I mean, Mo Bamba. Bo Bo is such a a unique player. And the fact he's seven two, so he's taller than all of them, uh, of of Giannis and, and and Durant, but he shoots threes not better than Giannis, not as good as Durant. He he dribbles there, but he's probably on he's probably on Giannis's level dribbling. Um, I just don't know. I he probably first step. He's not as fast as Giannis. Oh yeah, but that's not a that's not. I mean that's, that's the old. Well, you're not as good as Albert Pujols, but you know I'm not saying anything bad about you. Right, you know, right, right. <clears throat> but uh, the, the, I can the, the I can that, agree with you and say this: Is he a young Giannis probably right now? Yeah, because when Giannis first came in the league, he was he was not like LeBron when yeah. he came in and was just a force. He was just oh, who, who is this kid from Greece that's actually playing? The best really play good. he made was he blocked a dude without jumping, stuffed it right back in his face, took the ball from his chest, 
dribble down the court and put up for three just nets. Like, <laughs> how many seven two guys do that? Well, I'll tell you what, just but, beat back a. But you also shot. have to look at what he's doing, and I, and I'm not saying I want to know how many minutes the top stars for the other team played, because I know when Boston played the other day, the uh, smart all the guys Tatum. They, they hardly played any minutes. Most of them were sitting on the bench. They're probably they, just you know, trying just to still watching. work their way so in. So if Yon- Bobo comes in and plays, and he probably played about the whole game. He played 16 minutes. Well, you know. 16 minutes, got 16, 16 points. points at 10 points. Well, I'll tell you this, too. Ben Simmons hit <laughs> well, a three-pointer. That's pretty good, man. I'm not going <laughs> to take him. A point a minute is not bad. Terry, he went off. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Like, hey, I'm also, not going to say nothing. Hey, I was just going to know who he against. Ben Simmons hit a three-pointer, so watch out. He did hit a three. Watch out. If he gets... Hey, they took a break. Maybe he was in the gym working. I don't know. I, Terry, I would bet the Celtics will sit over there and be gladly let Ben Simmons shoot threes all day. Well, right? they would. <laughs> That's why right. you we'll don't let him shoot le- every time down if he wants to. <laughs> he might have been working on. You know, he's had some time to work on it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You never know. This is just going to be so up in the air. I will say this: if Denver plays Bowl Bowl, nobody's going to know what to do with him because they haven't seen him. Well, they were showing the uh, work. You know, I was watching. Watching some more. I actually follow a guy. Terry remember him. I don't know if Tom remembers him. You know, I played for the Pistons. And the reason I, he's funny, but the reason, he, he's, the reason I follow him is he's funny, but he's also got my last name. Remember Scott Hastings? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, the, he's, the, he's the announcer for the Nuggets. And so I follow him on YouTube. He's, he's, he's got a granddaughter that's about three or four. And during this pandemic, they, he makes her do daily basketball drills. <laughs> 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 so he's got her out there. And she's doing great. He's like, all right, today we're going to work on the one-handed cross dribble. So she would go dribble, dribble, and then just move it to her left. And he's like, good. And so that's all the dribbles, like whatever she can do. But she's killing it and loving it. It is just hilarious. Uh-huh. Here's this, you know, he's about seven foot tall almost, this guy Hastings. And, and uh, it was a little bitty girl, just, just, just tiny. And she's got this basketball. That basketball is bigger and wider than her. And it's, it's just hilarious here at him telling her to do drills. <laughs> But anyway, uh, following him, Terry, he, they were showing some practices. They're practicing in, in some of the hotel lobbies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stuff. they've built they mm-hmm. built many many gym pools. But Joe, I mean, um, oh, bowl? No, the center for is it Djokovic? No, Joker. Joker, the Joker, Djokovic. I'll get it yeah. right. Djokovic is a tennis player. The Joker. Sorry about that. Um, he he handles the ball a lot. You know, around the. It, and around the um, the lane, and everything he's lost twenty thirty pounds during this during this episode. He's in shape. They're showing him Terry. He was he was working the block and spinning. And you've coached basketball when you when big man interior pass. What happens? They all, a lot of times they score, don't they? Most of the time. So 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 think about you've got Jokic out there with the point running off the the high post and the elbow, and you got bo- a bowl bowl at seven two cut into the lane. He threw an alley oop to him, and Bowl almost was at the top of the backboard, and the guy guarded him. His hand, you know, was just barely above the rim, and it was like, you know, like this. And he just went boop right on his little head. And I'm like, what are people gonna do to stop that? Because you got to have a seven footer on Jokic, and then mm-hmm. you got this kid coming in. I think I think Denver's gonna be trouble. Um, the Lakers mentioned that they didn't really want Portland. Remember, mm-hmm. I said Portland could probably defend them the best. I thought they couldn't stop Houston the best. Time, Portland, but Denver may be a combination of all of them now. If Bowl Bowl's going to play with Joker like that, I have man. read that a lot of teams in within the circle think losing Avery Bradley for the Lakers is going to hurt them a whole lot on the perimeter I defense. Said that. I on, said that, you, also and you too. said that too. We, I yeah. think, we all kind of agree defensively, defensively that was going to hurt them, yeah. but. I think what they've really tried to hit home is that, you know, interior defense, they'll be fine because they can put JaVale, Dwight, mm-hmm. Anthony Davis, all of those seven-footers they want. Perimeter defense, playing against teams like Houston, Portland, who got guys that maybe want to just pull up and drain threes. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be real tough. LeBron, LeBron is – he can't put full effort on offense and defense mm-hmm. like he did when he was younger. He kind of has to pick and choose his moments. So – and they lost Rondo. Rondo has still always he's always been a good defensive player. I've never yeah, I will never say he's great a great defensive guy. And who'd you replace him with? J.R. S- Reed. J.R. Smith, Smith, who hasn't really yeah, played. J.R. Smith. And then <laughs> Reed. And then listen to me. And then Dion. Yeah. And then Dion Waiters. And then yeah. they got. So I mean, you call, totally they got lost Pope. a lot. They there. got Caldwell Pope going off the bench. Who had who was under house arrest two years ago? I mean, that's all right. I I don't know. I think I'm just ready. 
for them to be actual games. I know they're just scrimmages right now. I'm ready for them to be I actual games. I don't like games. the scrimmages, guys, because, I mean, that's just like I was talking about. Boston got beat by the Thunder the other day, and it was like, I don't know, 94-83 or 98-83 or I something I just saw like a that. score over here off Kevin's screen. The, the Pelicans, I mean, it's, this score you might know. be real when they play other big people, but Pelicans just beat the Nets 99-66. to <laughs> Well, that's what I'm talking about. Boston <laughs> had nobody in the game. I mean, Tatum was in there, and he like went one I mean, the Nets, six, they don't have nobody in the game Didn't regardless. play many minutes. You know, Smart didn't play hardly. I mean, you know, who, I mean, who are you playing in these scrimmages? I mean, Terry, I'll be honest, if, I'm leaning towards Boston to make it out of the East, and it's only because as much as I love Milwaukee and I love watching Giannis, I don't know if Chris Middleton's going to show up. I don't. I know they're, like, deep yeah, all around. But, uh, but see, th- there, there are too many people in Boston to me that can score 20-plus, whereas it's Giannis can get you 30, 35, but who's going to get you that see, extra 20? Giannis is going to do his thing. We all know that, but Middleton is a key part for them. I know, but... You know, his the report came out when he came back. He didn't touch basketball for four months, and it showed. Like, and he was like one for eight from the floor. So, like, he looked bad. <laughs> you might look bad in a couple games. Backyard? I mean, it depends know, on it. Like, if I was a professional they can't, basketball they can't, player, they can't afford one. If I was a professional <laughs> well, basketball <laughs> player, you, you, Tom, you just, well, think about it, though, Did just you depends. not watch horse? No. Yeah. See, there's, I, <laughs> that's, that was totally to me never right for anybody playing the guy that won it. Uh, oh, it was um, Conley. Yeah, Con- Mike Conley. Yeah, he had an indoor court well, where these other the- guys were playing outside in the rain, you know, shooting at their goal. And I'm like, think how about is this the- fair? <laughs> what if Chris yeah. Middleton rents when he's in Milwaukee? Because you couldn't leave during this quarantine time. Everybody couldn't just I travel. Guess. Today is real home with the basketball court is out here in LA. A lot of those guys don't rent, though. They, they buy. If they, I mean, they, they, they buy and then they sell because they make money. You know. I don't. I don't know. Just, I I can agree with it. maybe some of the younger maybe some of the younger players don't just have a full court basketball court in there that they can just go to on their leisure. But I tell you, if I had my own place that big, Terry, I'd have a bowling alley because you know they closed them all down. Yeah. But I miss bowling, so I'd put a bowling alley, a two lane bowling alley in my house. But that's just me. I'd have ne- a basketball. I'll never court forget too. that was one of the coolest things going to the Biltmore House one time, and they were just like, yeah, they had a bowling alley. I was like, yeah, that's what? cool. That what? was cool. And people, they had an Olympic size swing. I was like, yeah. what? People don't bowl anymore, do they, Terry? Yeah. They, everybody's a fireplace bowl. in every room. I got some yep. <laughs> bad stuff about that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, the other one I wanted to point out was Lakers Mavericks. Um, in that game, the, Le- the Mavericks won 108 104. LeBron <laughs> had 12 points in 16 minutes. Five assists, not three bowl rebounds. Bowl numbers. No, he's not. He's not up there with bowl bowl. Uh, the one I want to do, wanted to mention though, Tom's favorite player, Boban. Did you see his highlights? Who? Boban, the big dude from the Mavericks. Oh yeah, that's yeah, as yeah, big yeah. as the basketball. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Boban Marjanov- Marjanovic went off as well. He blocked Dwight Howard twice. Did you see that? Uh-uh. No. I Howard got the ball in the post and tried to dunk it on him. Boban blocked him twice without jumping, and everybody laughed about it. That's a good way to say it. Probably just, probably <laughs> just smiled jump. at him. Probably well, Dwight's only 6'10", and Boban's like 7'5", so he turned into yeah. him, and Boban went, and he, did, he tried it again. He went, <laughs> and so, but Boban comes down the court. Not only did he get the, those two blocks are, are the only two blocks he got, though. How about the rest of the game, though? 17 points, 13 boards. That's a huge game for him. Hey, yeah, because he really he – that's was a good time for him. He was shooting threes. He could shoot threes. He, uh, I saw him in warm-ups. He could I'm shoot telling you, What he was shooting around – European the, big men come over and they know how to shoot threes. Inside the paint, Terry, though, he, he shot a jumper. Well, he didn't jump. He one-handed it. His hand's so big, he just went and just one-handed that joker. And uh, – that was uh, so the Bobin. I thought Tom would want to hear that. And the, 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 everybody loves him, of course. He's he's a nice, funny he's, guy. He's a clown. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's he really fun. he has a good time. He's fun. You can t- tell he's enjoying himself when he's out on the court. He's really having a good time. There's a uh, you folks can't see. It That's home. gonna be a dangerous team. Yeah, that, that God was, is if they get everything I you, clicking. I, I know you folks can't see at home, but I'm showing Tom and, and the folks here. That's Bobin playing Miss Pac Man. <laughs> I, I that machine's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the thing is, it's good that that he's got he's all that so money because he's going to have to have special order everything the rest of his yeah. life. Yeah, I mean he's they're going to have to manufacture that man a car. 
There's no way he can get in a I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They're going to have to make a special order car for him. Even the extended, like, extra long like, right. Cadillac or something. No, he couldn't gonna fit, fit in it. Uh -uh. No. That's kind of like him stupid commercials you used to see where the Buick would get Shaq to come in. And I'm like, you know good and well, yeah. Shaq ain't just fitting in this Buick. He did, yeah. he did Kia. Was it Kia? I, I can't remember so. who it was. Yeah, I mean, Andre they, was like, Andre was like, Ain't no way. I'm just, I want to see the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. Hey, Remember I no. said the Police Academy movie where, oh, yeah. where Too Tall had to rip out oh, yeah. the front seat and sit in the back seat? <laughs> that was uh, Bubba Smith, not yep. Too Tall Jones. Oh, okay. That's Bubba, right. Bubba Smith. Smith. Yeah. Bubba Smith. Yeah. Uh, that, those are some of the best but movies ever. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you that. this. Seriously. I think the Lakers are in trouble. I do. I think they're in some serious trouble. And I know this is just a free, and LeBron only played 60 minutes, whatever. But I, throw that out. These younger teams that have got everybody together, nobody's sitting out, nobody's hopefully doesn't catch the coronavirus, they might catch them because the Lakers are old. They're old. Yeah, and I you just got through losing two defensive guys. Yeah, I'm like I'm not going to sit there mm. and say R Rondo's going to give you 15-plus on the offense side. Defensively, though, he'll well, give you some you ribs. He'll get you two or three steals. Show. Absolutely. When, when LeBron's off the court, yeah. who's your point guard? <laughs> Deion Waiters? Oh, my God. My man was my man couldn't fly with Miami because he you took need edibles. Somebody, who are they going to guard? Who are they going to guard? You know, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's, I that's where they... you lose Bradley because Bradley, whoever your top scorer is, that's who Avery Bradley would be on. Bradley, especially if they're a you shooter, know. if they're like a spot up three point shooter, mm -hmm. Bradley was just hopping on them. I don't know. I'm, uh, well, I think Hunter, the Lakers are your in trouble. To win it. <laughs> no, I don't. They're going to make it the playoffs. No, Wizards ain't, ain't even going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Nets are somehow going to stay. Oh, my god! The gosh. Nets are somehow going to stay, and the Wizards just well, they ain't going to make it. Speaking no, of the, picking your opponents, everyone would pick the Nets. What they, about the other league, the one that all the losers <laughs> go to? Has are, they, I don't think, are they actually doing it? Oh, so are they, are they really doing, doing that in I don't Chicago? Know. That's I don't what know. I was wondering. I are they believe. or are they not? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, no. They probably just, because they know, ain't nobody going to watch no way. All right, uh, JP, you ready for another break? All right, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, talk football and NASCAR on KDCBroadcasting.com. I'm Lon Helton, inviting you to join me as I count down the week's top 30 with my co-hosts Chris and Preston from Locash. We're spending quarantine time apart. At first, I was like, thank God, I don't have to see him for like two months. This is awesome. <laughs> well, within a few days, you're kind of like, that's my brother, you know. That's Locash this week on Country Countdown USA. Wednesday afternoons at 1 o'clock on Carolina Country WCSL, 92.3 FM, 1590 AM, and online at kdcbroadcasting.com. Your 401k is likely one of your most important assets, but it's only one part of a comprehensive retirement strategy. Edward Jones can help you understand how your retirement assets fit into your entire retirement picture so you can work toward meeting your unique retirement goals. Contact Adam Larson, your Shelby Edward Jones financial advisor at 1427 East Marion Street, Suite F. Call 704-692-0249 or contact Kevin Larson, your Cherryville Edward Jones financial advisor at 217 East Main Street. Give them a call at 704-692-2325. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Get up to $70 in rebate money on select sets of Yokohama or Cooper tires from All Ray Tire in Cherryville and in Shelby. Come in for all the details and get $70 rebate back. But hurry, offer ends soon. If you need tires, now's the time to buy. And remember, All Ray Tire for all of your automotive repair needs. They'll have you back on the road in no time at all. Visit your nearest All Ray Tire location, 401 East Main Street in Cherryville and 327 West Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. There's something special about the rush you get when your fingers pull the throttle and everyone else can just try to keep up. It's the kind of endless thrill you'll only experience on a Yamaha Wave Runner. Whether you're in it for the effortless fun of the affordable EX Series or the supercharged luxury of the FX Series, Yamaha Wave Runners always help you kick your weekend into high gear. See one today at Full Throttle Power Sports, 100 Indian Walk off I-85 in Lowell. When you shop our local advertisers, be sure to tell them you heard it on the radio. 
That way they'll know that their radio dollars they spend works for them and you too. Even in today's fast-moving world, radio remains the leading media to reach more people. 93% of Americans listen to AM FM radio over the air. TV viewership is 89%, smartphone use is 83%, and personal computer use is 50%. So if you're a business owner, reach more people with the power of radio. If you don't tell it, you can't sell it. See the power of radio. WHS Shelby, WLON Lincoln, WCSL Cherryville. Online at ktcbroadcasting.com. Plumbing problems? Well, if you're not an expert plumber, then we invite you to call the expert plumbers. That's Olmstead Plumbing in Forest City. Just call 828-245-7302. Recommended since 1973. From faucets to sinks to toilets, from sewer and drains to well pumps, from dishwashers to disposals to bathroom remodeling, residential and commercial, new homes too. Don't let your plumbing problems drive you plumb crazy. Call Olmstead Plumbing in Forest City. 828-245-7302 828-245-7302 or visit the website at homesteadplumbing.com. And we'll back to Saturday More Sports Talk with Kevin the Gang. They're talking more sports. Oh, that one don't work. Wrong mic. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Got a bad wire over here. Those, when I use an adapter with those headsets, I can't hear myself. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the broadcast. KTCbroadcasting.com. We've got uh, fun things to do to talk about today. Uh, Hunter, I tell you what, let's do some football. This will be we can do college and NFL in the same thing. Let's just do random stuff here and there. You want to do college? The, the 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 system we were talking about the other day on ESPN. I think it would be an interesting. I think you should turn your mic on. Yeah, I think it would be an interesting <laughs> conversation. Absolutely. Yes, I think it would be very interesting. All right, Tom. So, NCAA football is proposed online. This ain't a real. This is, this is a what if. Uh, we've kind of talked about this kind of stuff in the past, um, but to do in that, that someone brought up the point about, you know, how we argue about like Vanderbilt's never won, apps should get a chance as opposed to them. <laughs> They're talking about doing the, was it deregulation? What's the relegation, relegation demotion. demotion in college football from power five schools to the group of five. Do you, understand, you know what relegation no. is? Okay. Well, we, Hunter, explain to him European soccer how it works. European soccer relegation and promotion. What it is, let's take the English Premier League, for example. That's the highest level of soccer in, in England. Mm-hmm. And there's it's a points-based system. You get points, three points for winning, one for a tie, zero for losses. And that's how they decide who wins it at the end of the year. There is no big tournament. I mean, they do have a tournament during the year, but it's not decides who wins the league. It's whoever has the most points. Well, if you finish in the bottom six in points, you were relegated to the league below so you. And, like, the t- yeah, okay. and the six teams yeah. with the best are then promoted to the big league. And so okay. essentially what it does is, it, is it, it, its aim is to keep the highest level of competition possible. So in other words, like if Vanderbilt goes 0-11, they would be relegated to the Sun Belt and you would put Appalachian State in there. Bingo. See, right. re- re- relegated is, when I hear that term, it'd be like, Tom, you're relegated to – cafeteria worker from teacher you know that that i guess that makes the same sense that okay you well if you don't want to use relegated we'll just use it you've been demoted right or you've right. been promoted Re- relegated is more euphemistic yeah i would say that that, that you're kind of well, it doesn't sound term. Like it's just the term just the regulated. term yeah. but relegated yeah i think i don't think it's a bad idea and the reason why is you know we sit here and we talk about it all the time the sec is so top heavy is Vanderbilt winning the SEC in football next year? No. Is Arkansas winning the SEC in no. football next year? Hey, I, mean, Arkansas, we could, we, I mean, we could Arkansas go on and would on. Arkansas have a chance eventually. Arkansas. Uh, no, no. That, 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 or, no. That, that, that program they'll has been be dead back. for a few years. They'll, they'll be back. And Nebraska's been trying to say the same thing, yeah. and they haven't come back They'll yet. be back. Scott Frost will get them back. I like they'll, Scott they'll Frost. Them, they'll get them back. It's just it's one of those things where, because I asked the other day when we brought this up on the podcast, I said, well, how many – Technical Division One football conferences do we have? There's eleven, and we only say that there's a power. We only go by the rule of the new Power Five. Well, t- you c- technically could take the bottom three in each comp- Power Five conference and take easily the top six from the six other conferences and others that are just sitting there waiting, maybe multiple ten win seasons. And you could relegate them up, or you know, yeah, you can upgrade them, promote right. them. I, mean, I don't see what the problem would be. All right, so 
I, I could see a few problems that start with dollars and cents. Well, yeah, that would, would get regulated. All right, so that would be the problem to relegated. get the to get the conferences and the schools to just all be right, like, right. oh, oh yeah. yeah, that sounds wonderful. So, so yeah. few details. So this is kind of gonna be our proposal slash what's going on. Uh, we, we're gonna mix ours with ESPN to, to make some sense out of it. Um, because there's five power, there's a group of five, and then there's six and the other. So there's eleven divisions, so it wouldn't match up one one. So what they decided to do. This is one option is to have the top two teams from the Power Five automatic come, then the other other three play the next three in bowl games for the right to move up. So, for example, it says App, uh, Florida Atlantic, Miami of Ohio, Cincinnati Navy, and Air Force would all play each other, and the winners of those games would get to move up. Um, App would smoke all of those teams. The so they would get in <laughs> on that. Well, I mean, they would. Miami, they would Ohio, Miami, Ohio, FAU, Cincinnati, Navy, and Air Force, uh, that, pff, whatever. Uh, if they did it that way, Hunter and I believe what they should do instead is actually play <laughs> the Power 5 team and then actually play for it, as opposed to say, just the last place team is out and just this the first place team is in. The first place team plays the last place team. And then their other rule that we came up with that they probably should do and then I've I've said they should do in high school football only conferences. Like you can't send Duke to the to the A ten in, in, in basketball because their football team sucks. Right. So we were going with this is only a football type rule and not basketball. So a few folks asking what's gonna happen if, if well, like if Duke came in last and they got sent to the Sun Belt, we're not going we're not entertaining that. Okay. So we're sticking at just football only, basketball keep you same stuff. So here's how it'd work out last year. Just getting this. This is their their way. So I mentioned the App State, FAU, Miami, Cincinnati, Navy, and Air Force would have to play each other. The three winners would move up. The top two teams from the other power, the other group of five, group of six is Memphis and Boise, Boise State, who would have earned the automatic replacements. Now, do you want to know which teams are out from last year that would have to move down? And the, what we've decided to do, Hunter, is is do it geographically. So you know if you're in Florida, you don't have to go to the West, the Pac-12 or whatever. You just, you know, switch with the SEC or ACC. Um, <clears throat> the teams shipped off from 2019 would be Arkansas from the SEC, Arizona from the Pac, whatever it is. Pac-12, right, Hunter? Pac-12. <laughs> Rutgers. Uh, Correct. What's that? Big East, Big Ten? What's Rutgers now? Rutgers. Rutgers is Big Ten. Hunter, turn your mic on. Yes, Rutgers <laughs> is Big Ten. Sorry, I'm over here working. Uh, and Kansas from the Big 12. So Memphis would replace Kansas. Boise State would replace the Pac-12 team, which is Arizona. So there you go for that. And then App, FAU, Miami, Cincinnati, Navy, and Air Force would play for the ACC, Big 10, and Big East. And the ACC team that would be out, NC State. Wrong answer. Peace out, Wolfpack! <laughs> How would we regulation. leave the team out? Regulation. That's, I'm just telling you what it says. ESPN is out. It's, you're out. Wrong ENC State answer. is the team kicked out of the ACC, and Appalachian would be pl- or Florida AU will be playing to join the ACC and replace the Wolfpack. And the Wolfpack are your new Sun Belt champions. <laughs> you might. You might. If that if that gets moved up, you got a chance. How in the world do we get kicked out? What's the definition of us being kicked out? <laughs> You're the worst. You team came in, the in last in the ACC. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What's the worst? <laughs> no. I thought we went over that. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, we just got done explaining how it works. Now I know why this thing don't work. <laughs> It's well, one of them uh, generated things in Terry, KTC. Of, uh, you only went one in <laughs> so, seven. So, so, you were so. one in seven in the ACC last year, Terry, with a worse record. So, mm. so much for your traditional rivalry games, Duke. At a conference? NC State. So, you got yeah. them three, four at a conference? Yeah, game. but then you'd have, I mean, to, Florida, you'd have to redo State your whole plays. Tom, non-conference Tom. and all that. Just to get out of the this is the, all just a point to get Appalachian the, the, State. I didn't write this article. <laughs> I was about to say, this is an actual article. This on I'm ESPN. reading we didn't, we didn't just make it they up. Put the, they put the teams on it. They they wrote all this down. I'm just reading it. All he does is slam ESPN, and now they, uh, they put something about Appalachian it. State. Oh, oh, I'm oh, reading. Oh, Tom, this is, this is, this is Why in the journalism. World? This is NC, pure NC, surprise NC, journalism. I believe we can be replaced by a team that we've beat every time. Tom, nobody, nobody 
is is losing sleep over missing the Duke NC State football match. Well, their people will. Yeah. yeah, they can play each other. They can pay the boosters. Let's not let's worry about the boosters. They more people gonna be at a <laughs> North sure. Carolina State Duke football game I than wish, a North but Carolina now, State all I wish, app. Now, now they would put Appalachia State in the ACC. I don't know no, about that. No, or there would Terry. Terry, State you know better in than that. The SEC, I'm about to say, Terry. And they get smoked, and we're we, done with this conversation. They were, never lost to App Tom, State. Terry, Tom, nobody in this room is saying any of these teams are going to win those conferences. But there's set, no, was it nine SEC teams that haven't won a nine. conference championship since 1978? That's because Alabama's in there winning. There's five in years. there that's won it. So what does it matter? If it, what does it matter to you? If Vanderbilt goes two and ten, and it's the Appalachian State, why? So why would that bother you more? Just it's just a name, it's just a school. Somebody's going two and ten. What does it care? What does it? Why does it have to be Vanderbilt? So the the what what would make that matchup though, Terry? What we were saying is we wanted to play each other the the Power Five. Up. So it would be in. Would, would you would you rather watch this, Tom? So let's say Carolina is the one that's kicked out. Last year in the bowl game, they had to play Temple. Now that game, who cares? Yeah. But true. if that game was for Temple gets in the ACC, and that's App State versus Carolina. How many more people are watching on TV? So now you turn these bowl games that nobody watches and cares about to actually real competition that means something. So now you're sitting there watching Cincinnati trying to get into the uh, big, what are y'all, Big Ten now with mm-hmm. how many teams? Uh, big Ten. <laughs> 14. <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute. Let me tell you oh, what happens. Don't like that. No, no, no. Little fact. no. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the difference in that game would be is how many players from App it's automatically going to be drafted into the NFL or North Carolina State's going to be drafted in the NFL where players do not want to play in that game. Well, who's going to lose here? North Carolina State's going to lose from the difference of player to player. Of I'm going to play that game or I'm not going to play that McQuinn, game. Lamb McQuinn, chicken, win more than one game in the ACC. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, <laughs> well, that's well, what well. happens. So he's trying to say that NC State will have a number of potential pro players. Who that's it. Sit out. out. That's huh. it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Too I don't sure know about that. that. Again, that's Tom, automatic. They were one in seven. So you know, all these pro players yeah, running but, around but the really right, right now. It's not, it's not like <laughs> year before last. <laughs> but when Terry, we played in our bowl game, North Carolina State had four guys who did not play. No, that's on them. On account of they were thinking about the NFL. Are you gonna have a whole hey, lot more this listen, year? Listen, y'all need to do better building school spirit. That has nothing to do with Appalachian. Y'all don't got school spirit. You know what? Listen, I'm just telling. I'm just telling you, Terry. <laughs> it would be Division One versus Division. One, so who's to it say is. who's to say app wouldn't have players sit out too? So they're I not mean. gonna have players. <laughs> okay, okay, ah. okay. So the team has been winning a whole lot more games, but not have as many pro prospects as. But Tom, did you, right. did you catch losing. Tom? You're did right. you catch what Terry said though a few minutes ago when he said there would be more people at a Duke NC State game than an Appalachian State NC State game? They would be. Duke, I, 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 no, no, Terry. Oh, I get it. All Terry, do Duke don't have. Hold on, hold on. Look. Is there a liquor store near each stadium? Then Appalachian State would have more people there. If that's what NC you want to do, <laughs> dang beer at they're their still, stadium. They're still going to have more. <laughs> <laughs> NC State's got their own kind of beer. That's yeah. right. If we serve a, everybody. Old t- as long <laughs> as there's a liquor store near the stadium, Appalachian State will bring it. Well, well, Tom, I got this. You know fancy thing over here called the interweb and it's telling me that nc state and appalachian state last year both had two players drafted i, I know the, the terry's theory is, is flawed <laughs> no no it's not i said two years ago people are paying attention to what i'm saying tom yeah, that'd be i, think, I didn't say last year i think you have a flawed thesis oh man so i mean I, i'm not really sure that i that you have enough evidence <laughs> NCAA, to i mean we there. did have NCAA the number one happen. pick in the nfl draft one year or one there uh, you carolina go. has number two pick one year. yeah no. so <laughs> and he's really tearing it up <laughs> yeah. yeah really good yeah, listen really hey NCAA, as always, if you can't beat the duke Blue Devils in football, you don't need to be playing in the no. NFL. I agree. <laughs> You can't beat the Duke Blue like Devils. You app. ain't beating the Green Bay Packers. Hey. It's like playing out. You know? Whoa. We've NCAA, never lost to them. Take it in consideration. You never played them. Take it yeah, into consideration. Have. This is what I hate, Terry. This is what I hate. What? The most what you say that Appalachian now. State was going to go up to Wisconsin and get drubbed 50 to nothing, and now that they're not going to play that game, they're going to get drubbed. Wait, which, which conference drubbed. canceled the game, Tom? 
Well, Which conference canceled the we game? We don't want all it wasn't the Sun Belt. people. Was it the Sun Belt that canceled the game, Hunter? All the Appalachians. Or was it Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh, it was they Wisconsin. Their check, it was the they Big Ten. Their check. Big but, Ten didn't want to get embarrassed. They said, oh, crap. Oh, who yeah. scheduled App State? Right. Look at these morons. I said, this has happened to us once. We can't have it happen again. <laughs> they were going to get drubbed. <laughs> Good that big period. offensive line for Wisconsin to have them Appalachian State boys crying God, at the first quarter. They be crying. That's <laughs> where people thought North Carolina. I mean, Dallas was in a bad situation, but who do we pick up? The center from Wisconsin. I said, hey, I like our pick. Duke yeah. didn't even play State last year. They're not even on the same. They're not in the same division. <laughs> no, they're not. They don't even play yeah, That's what I'm saying. It takes <laughs> so you're not missing any five, five six think years about before that. you ever play them again. I want you to think about that. There are four ACC teams in North Carolina, well, and sometimes they don't even play yeah. each other. And in I'm gonna football. mention something else about it. Now all of a sudden, you're talking about uh, Notre Dame playing for the ACC title. Now they're gonna fix it up where they have a shot to play for it. So, well, but but not have to so, play a full ACC schedule. So Terry's I, 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 Terry's theory on okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll, y'all finish that on Notre Dame. That's fine. I was just get, that should. In all seriousness, that should have been it a few years ago because it should, Notre, have, been. Be, it should have been that way for quite a while because that no, what was it? Notre Dame made the playoffs and played who in the first round? Clemson. And what did they do? They got dog walked. That game would have happened weeks prior if they would have met in the ACC championship game, thus allowing someone else in there. To but yes. at Notre Dame doesn't want to commit. They got commitment issues. They don't want to commit. All of a sudden, here we are, and they're gonna have a chance. All right, so Terry, your theory about App would have less fans than Duke at a state game uh, against State or State. Let's say I've got Duke's home attendance oh, from last right year. Now, we're not going to go by that because, see, you know, it depends on who Duke's we playing. We just said that. Duke, I know. If you're going to go by App, nobody has nothing do else Duke, to North do with fire. I, I wish he would just. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's Duke's attendance against ACC schools, okay? Miami, you know, that's a pretty big football school, 15,000 people. Uh, Syracuse, 16,000. Notre Dame brought 40,000 people to, to Wallace Wade. I guess that's still the name of it. Georgia Tech, 21,000. Pittsburgh, 22,000. So the ACC schools at home, they averaged 15 to 22,000 fans in a 38,000 or 40,000 seat stadium. So it's less than half field when ACC teams are there. How about North Carolina A&T? They filled up that joker, 38,000 people. A and T had thirty eight thousand people. Pittsburgh, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, and Miami didn't get more than twenty or twenty two. Yeah, because that's because it's in North Carolina. Sixteen thousand people. They travel better. North Let's put this way: A and T is decent. In My, Miami yeah. plus plus Syracuse is thirty one thousand. That's two games less than what A and T brought. These big local, these big school, these local schools have support. Uh, App would fill it up. I mean, it would be A and T. If I'm not mistaken, that's where Tariq Cohen played. You think running it, back at you think Chicago Duke's field would be? They changed the color. Well, they are black. I guess they got black jerseys. So they changed. Don't the say black and gold. Don't say their nickname. It offends me. Should they change their name to the Black Devils? Don't their name? say it. It offends now. me. Who's that? The Blue, the Blue Devils. Devils. Oh. Or the White Devils. They got three different mm. colors. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they choose okay. the blue one. Don't do it. <laughs> the Maroon Devils. That's the weird one. Up in was it Swain County, Terry? Yes. So the the maroon. Yeah. Devils. How about Arizona State, the Sun Devils? Don't do it. It's offensive. Hey, Lexington's the Yellow Jackets, and they're orange, <laughs> aren't they? Yep. They're the, that is strange. They, they, they're, they're oh, I know what you're talking about. Orange. Yeah. JP, wake up. <laughs> you ready okay. for a break? Let's take a break. Come back. It'll be any other comments, Terry. You love this idea, then? That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Right, real in my quick, life. Uh, hold on, JP. We're gonna go three more minutes on this. We'll finish NASCAR, NFL news and notes. Your Redskins are not the Redskins now. They're the Washington Football Club. Washington Football. How about Hunter? In the same week, has two teams to pull for, and neither one of them has a nickname. The Charlotte Football Club, and now the Washington Football Team. <laughs> no mascots. We don't, can't offend anybody. What I, and this is America. Why isn't it the Charlotte Soccer Club? What see, is but football see, this is what says? I don't understand. And I just to be quick about it because I said it <laughs> weeks ago when they first talked about they were going to change the name. I'm like, why couldn't you have just let this have been the final season as the Redskins and bring out a new name next year? Like, just call them the Washington Redskins for the rest of the season. This is like kind of like how they would give people their retirement, you know, their retirement tour when Kobe was going around, Chipper was going around, Derek Jeter. They're getting ready to retire. We're getting ready to retire the name Redskins. This is the last time they're going to be here. No. 
We're just instead just you're just gonna be known as the my, Washington football team. Yeah, That's my, so my, my deal for people who have memorabilia from the Washington Redskins, mm-hmm. from Cleveland Indians, from I mean, you know, different things. Keep it. Yeah, it's gonna be worth something. Yeah, Cleveland just had Cleveland on the jersey last night. Yeah. Right? Mm. So it's it's done. It's done. <laughs> done. Oh, yeah, they they've pretty much got Hate on, on that. Speaking of the Redskins, uh, Alex Smith cleared the full activity. We've been wondering what you know. Why? What? What's the Redskins going to do this fall? They ain't got no quarterback. They got Dwayne Haskins. Maybe they got, they got Kyle him. Allen. Maybe now they've got a a pretty good quarterback. It's going to be in camp. God, that's healthy and passed, ready to mm. rock. He, you know what? He's got a pretty wife and a couple pretty he kids. Does. He just needs to just say, enjoy that wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your I kids. Agree. Enjoy the rest of your life, I agree. man. Come on, But he man. has just been like hey. that. He's had a chip on his shoulder I would rather, his whole life. I would rather yeah. have $20 million in one leg instead of yeah. instead of two legs mm. and none. He's already got his money, Kevin. Well, I, well I, now I'm going I'm I'm to go. I don't see him coming back You're going to tell me you chop off a leg for $20 million. Yes. You um, are crazy. There's listen, no way. You're crazy. No listen, way. I'm Change you your family's life and generations forever. Every time. No. My lawyer told me specifically, um, if I want to make some money, I got to lose a limb. You notice, <laughs> you notice he, he talks said. to lawyers a lot. Yeah. Listen, you know I'm, gonna say, I'm going to say this as a Washington. He is often in conversation with lawyers. As a Washington it's just fan. One. It's just one. I think mm-hmm. As a wrong. Washington fan, Alex Smith, do yourself a favor and just be the third string quarterback this year. Or just, yeah. just retire. Yeah. What if he comes out there and beats him out? What do you mean? Go, I'm just, I'll, no. I'll, Coach, I'll volunteer he to be third. No, no. Can, no. I, mean, I know, so but to me, coaching. this is what it is. If he, no if he just wants to be y'all. around the team and wants to still be a part of like that routine, don't give this him is a not job. little league. I want Third to be string. around the team. Third you, you go, you go around for another opportunity. There will be all kinds of opportunities: coaching, yeah. broadcasting, right, well, analytics. But then who are you thinking about? Yeah. Hey, well then, here, watch this. He's going to get his heart broke mm. because he's going to walk out there. They're going to look at that leg and say, "Yikes." Well, the, the doctors thing. cleared him. I know he's clear. Yeah, it's clear. He's ready to play. What are we talking about here? Uh, I'm not, I don't really... Every time he gets hit, you can you imagine what's going through his wife's head and his children. I, yeah, know. I know. Think about what's going through his head when those linemen <laughs> fall around his legs. This yeah. year he'll earn a base of sixteen million. So that's what I'm saying. Go out there, just do go through the motions, get your money, and if you want to walk Guys, away, walk please away. Please don't hey. get hurt before you get to the third story. Remember, you're gonna you're not gonna live forever and you can't take that with you. What, mm. what other job is he going to get where he makes sixteen million dollars? Well, could they gave died, Tony Romo Kevin, a hell of a lot of money to call died. a football Could have, should have, would have, didn't. He signed through Alex 2022. Smith is smart Listen enough he can get a front office job uh, where we have a what, ton of openings. Y'all, it's not just sixteen million. Next year's nineteen, and the next year's twenty. He's up. For is that guaranteed? Fifty-six million dollars. But I'm saying, is that guaranteed? None of it's guaranteed in the NFL. Okay, he's on. But he's in. He's on contract for fifty-six million with the Redskins. But they can let him go at any time. Is that on contract that he's guaranteed, or he has to let himself go? Or I mean, he's got enough money and he's hanging up. Do something, you know, for his own sake. Listen, if you watched the documentary on it, you would sit here just like Tom. Tom kept saying something about watch. I finally watched it. Has the worst thing that could happen to him already happened? It looked like it looked like a pack of coyotes ate that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You look at that thing and you're just like, y'all know it don't look like that now, don't you? Yeah, I know that. The doctors passed him. People have surgeries all the time. Yeah. A couple guys have blown their fingers off in, in the NFL with fireworks. I mean, they don't have fingers. Mm. He's, his legs are working. JPP, right? His legs are hey. working. Mm. <laughs> Let him try. And I am the only one that's a fan here, Terry, and I'm just telling if you. If I was you, you no. know what I'd be doing if I was you? Cowboys. You get Alex Smith and Andy Dalton for what? three times less than you paid Dak Prescott. We, don't, want, a, we don't need that. Gr- you got so, a yeah. great... You'd have a great Cowboys locker room. Don't get me wrong. I like him. I like what he went through, and I like what he did, but I don't need him as a backup quarterback entering a game where I'm sitting there screaming every time he gets hit. I've I've never seen so many grown men worried about the safety of another grown man playing football. Well, we're not. This is weird. I keep thinking about his wife and kids. What about them? What about them? That's his life. That's his life beyond football. <laughs> he is he, he has already went through the yeah, bad no. stuff. That's over. Yeah, but okay, that don't mean it's going to so happen again. Well, I must, I'm going to put him through it again. <laughs> that don't mean it's going to happen again, Terry. I know, but what if it does? <laughs> well, God am I. What if we go outside and catch the corona? Let's all you be know? scared of the world. Everybody dies. Everybody gets sick. Folks, you're not going to live forever. Let's all go hide in our mm. corners. I don't get hit. Oh, my goodness. 
56 million dollars and i'm gonna quit not not all right nascar <sighs> jp what's scheduled this weekend <laughs> okay nascar this weekend Today. what is this weekend this weekend is 25th okay <laughs> NASCAR egg fanny series today at 4.30 p.m. Then tomorrow we have the, well, that's not really NASCAR. Atlanta and New York Mets at 5. Just read just p.m. read everything on today and tomorrow. Don't 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 pick it out. Just read the whole thing. I just did. <laughs> read it the again. The NASCAR Xfinity series today at 4.30. And tomorrow the Atlanta at New York Mets at 6.50 p.m. Why aren't they racing on Sunday this week, Terry? I don't know. I don't know. They race Thursday right. and then they skipped and it's a next weekend. Is this at a New Hampshire? Is this a oh wait, 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 wait. Bye week. Oh, sorry. There is actually some more racing. I didn't see that. I was say I thought they were in Kansas this weekend. Well, NASCAR, yeah, the truck series and all that. Yeah, NASCAR Gander RV two is at one yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have the truck New- Atlanta Braves and New York Mets today also at three fifty. Yeah. And then the NASCAR Xfinity. But uh, the but the cups not racing. No. I guess they gave them a bye week. Uh, that that was even on their schedule when they first had done it. The last race should have been July like nineteenth, and it's, the next one should have been it's August second. Is it nineteenth? Yeah, there's a few like couple weeks there for nothing, and I never did understand that when they come out with the first schedule. How come in the middle mm-hmm. of the season? You skip two weeks. Yeah, and it's not a vacation. Like, I know. Not, See, that, I didn't understand that. But, but anyway, everything changes. And the, next race will be, the, the next race will be New Hampshire, August yep. 2nd. Next week. August 8th in Michigan. August 9th in Michigan. Yep, so back they're doing back. back-to-back in Michigan. They take a week off and then doing back-to-back in Michigan. Uh, I don't know. That governor up there might not allow it to happen. Mm. She's a little out there. Um, Dover. We're doing two days in Dover yep, the next sure. week. Uh, so... And then we're going to be Saturday the 29th back in Daytona. Um, Terry, let's see what you think. Uh, did we talk about – we didn't talk about the – we talked about this week, didn't we, about the playoff, mm-hmm. what, they're, what they're doing. Uh, they've announced that they will have no practices and no qualifying for the rest of the races. That is going to severely affect the playoffs. Your top four car, you, and, you, and you automatic draw at 38th, 35th, I mean, you know, it's it takes away what they do. Um, so some of the people are throwing out they should group the 16 up no matter what, either in the front or the back of the field, and then draw it that way so they're together at least. And instead of – because if you put – if you, you're you going into the – you go in the championship race, Terry. Kyle Busch draws a 35th spot and Harvick gets second. Who's winning the race? It all depends on where you're racing. Phoenix. <laughs> Well, Kyle, okay. whoever's You're in up second. the creek there for a long that's, while. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The championship this year is in Phoenix at a fairly short track. Mm. And they're they're random drawing. So you're going to have three, four, I guess four cars there for the championship round of four. Somebody's going to be in the 30s, and the rest of them are going to be, somebody's going to be in the top 10. Harvick drew the pole this week. He drives the pole at Phoenix. It's yeah. over. You don't even do the race. Just don't even do the race. And so uh, a lot of people are upset about that. Then the practice thing. They're going to Daytona and running a course they've never run. Yeah. And it's a road course. Mm-hmm. We saw what happened at the Roval after practice and qualifying, Terry. They were wrecking all over the place. It was exciting and fun. But, damn, if you ain't practicing at all, that means 40 cars are going into turn one, turn two, whatever 17 turns there are, without having any idea how much to break. They don't have brake lights. So right. Like, you just got to hope you're judging the guy in front of you. He's doing what he's just supposed to be doing the same thing you're doing, really. Why are we in uh... – the race is starting to go to more road courses. We're not Indy. <coughs> we don't dag them right or the what they race across the ocean with uh, Castro Neves and some of those guys. Them road courses well, go to Detroit. Ones. They took out, yeah. Sonoma, they, they took out you know, Sonoma this Formula year. One, this, I guess this is kind of replacing that one is what they're doing. They're, they're trying to get back to more short tracks. The one, the mile and a half, so they built all those cookie cutters and, and then they started losing the fans on them. And they've taken uh, stands down and stuff. Those the intermediate ones are the ones they're trying to get back to shorter ones like Nashville. Next year they're going to do Nashville, but not the ones that they want. There's two tracks in Nashville, and they're doing the track. It's the the one everybody wants to race that isn't ready yet. Basically, is is what the deal is. So they're going to race at the other one next year. Myrtle Beach has a short track. A lot of people like the short track, which is fine. But it, it's just man, I the the practice like that. If you and, and Terry, how about this? The cutoff before Phoenix is Martinsville. 
Mm. If you're not qualifying top 10 in Martinsville, you're not winning. Yeah, you're How are true. you going to win from 35th in, in, at Martinsville? So the cutoff before the other one is, is another short track. So the last two to end the season are short tracks. Well, I, I kind of look at it when you get to the last one and you only got four guys left and you're drawing. I mean, are they going to be – I'm like you. Are them final four guys going to be all put up at the front? All going to be right put now, at the no, back? Right now, no, it's a full field draw. That's what I'm saying. Right if now, it's a full, full field, field. You could be in trouble. You're you, done. You could. Based on a random easily draw. Easily be Instead in of trouble. trying to race your way in, right. And normally, if those four cars are in the championship round, there's a there's a – 90% chance they're going to qualify all of them in the top 10. Yeah, most of the time. Like, there's no way they're not, unless yep. one messes up or breaks something. It's not going to happen. Um, so I feel, I, I don't know. Maybe they can get, fix or change something or make another decision. Um, I, I well, just, I'm going to tell you all this stuff that like they're it. not being able to go out there and practice and everything is hurting Kyle Bush because that's what he does. I mean, last week you saw what he can do. He won the Xfinity. They took it from it, and they did it the right way. I am happy for NASCAR, even if it's my driver like mm -hmm. Hunter's. They did it the right way. They took it from him. They gave it to the second place guy. They gave him the win. Everything. That's how it should be done. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I hate it, it was my guy who ended. The, the, we got to do this for this to happen. But what did he do? He turned right around and won the truck race. I mean, you know, and then they they gonna be coming. I think fourth in the race on Sunday. And, but, then, and then there was a Little League game, and he hit a home run in that one, too. He did, and it counted. <laughs> That's exactly right. And it counted, Tom, towards his total. But, you know, and, and I agree with all that, but it, he is the guy that is hurting because he's used to being out there practicing, being in every race, and learning. So when it gets to the yeah. NASCAR race, he's ready. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys next Saturday for this show, uh, 8, to, 8 to 10, 10, 15 next Saturday. Um, Monday and Wednesday, Hunter and myself. Tom, you going to be in next week anytime? I have AP training next week. You cannot come, Tom? I have AP training. Oh, man. So you got to fill in for me once in a while. Pick Everyone me up. Now, the next week, I'm good, though. Okay. So Monday and Wednesdays, Hunter and myself with the podcast. I think Zach's not going to be here next week either. Rob is coming in Wednesday. I have that for sure. So Robbie Roop will be on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll maybe find Terry's going to gonna come in Monday. Some of us have to work. Hunter, you need to shoot. You try, try to get us a interview sometime with old Cole Custer uh, and Jesse if you can. Uh, next week might be good since you know they don't have anything to do. Right. <laughs> I can't, maybe it's if fi or is it final exams for Jesse or something like I that. Don't know. Who knows what what the I reason have for no that idea. is? But uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for listening today on KTCBroadcasting.com. Uh, John Prather is in the house. Tom Sinafani, Terry Reinhardt, Hunter Yancey. We'll see you guys next week on ktcbroadcasting.com. Join Melton Baker for the West End Cell Swap Shop Monday through Friday on Carolina Country, WCSL, Cherryville, Gastonia, 92.3 FM, 1590 AM, and online at ktcbroadcasting.com. Monday, July 27th is the day you've been waiting for, the opening of the all-new Cozy Italian Kitchen in Shelby. Monday, July 27th is the day, starting at 7 a.m. with the opening of their coffee shop. The new restaurant area will open at 11 a.m. and their hours will be.